Hello everyone, how are we doing? Hi Arcus, how are you doing? We're jumping straight into it tonight, aren't we? Oh, hope mine is. All right. I'm going to do a check with my squad as well. Can you hear me, That's guys? It, there we go. Give me a nod in chat and then we're... I'm sorted. And we're good from there. I think I'm sorted. Anyhow, as organised as we're going very to be. Good. My lot are very quiet tonight, so I'll uh, I'll assume no news is good news. Well, it's because we've broken Either them. Either that with... or they can't hear me to answer. Yeah, Hamish is waving. We're good. We've, we've broken them with uh, not having countdowns because normally we both do a little bit of a countdown <laughs> in an intro where <laughs> right. it's like... Hello, we're here. It's like, surprise. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> bright lights, bright lights. Uh, how good you doing, mate? See you good. all. Uh, yeah, I'm good, mate. How are you? Good. I'm excited that we're playing on a different map. Logging League has so branched out, I. Yeah. left the borders yeah. of uh, Silver and Forest, and we're here on Deerlands. Um, so it's yes, going to be a different indeed. challenge, different different aspect, and you can already see just, oh, no one can see because I'm not looking at that, but uh, this map is so much different. It's very flat. Um there's not a huge amount of roads or anything like that, so it is going to be very much a race, a very, high speed. very much Let's a race. Let's say it's a high speed round, it is. shall it we? It is. Yeah, you look at Formula 1, Formula 1 has different circuits, some which are technically complex and some which are just flat out, and I think this will be a flat out, yeah, flat out day. Definitely. Hmm. It's going to be fun. It's going to definitely bring a whole different kind of approach to it. So, yes, let's... Uh, Absolutely. Let's see how we get on. We've got seven rounds tonight, Argus. Unfortunately, uh, a genetic had to drop just last minute. So That's right. uh, we're going to run with seven rounds. We've got um, uh, four, no, three uh, team rounds and four three team rounds. rounds. That's right. So first up, we have Pinnacle Loggers taking on Power Team Esports. Now, some might say Power Team Esports were our surprise leaders coming out of the first round. They uh, went two from two in their two matches they Good. played in round one. So nice to see them there on top. And uh, Pinnacle Log has also went through. There's unbeaten. And uh, being our previous season champions, it'll be interesting to see. It's kind of a heavyweight top of the table clash really at the moment. Starting is, right off with that. Indeed. It is indeed. So um, yes. Uh, just going to say then we're... And then second, <coughs> yeah, Logmeister's... Log Versus modern logging yes, again. Yes. A couple of stalwarts going head to head. Hmm. And then uh, we have Pinnacle Loggers and Logmeisters facing off later on on the second server. Yeah. So should be good from that perspective. In the solos, we have got um, first round will be Faban versus Jimmy Sim versus Coelho. And then Kegarino, Methy Boy versus Bob. Faban back again for the third round versus modern logging in his. Uh, Solo capacity versus Farming Alex. And then finally, we'll have Coelho versus Methy Boy versus Farming Alex. So seven rounds to keep us occupied That's over right. the next uh, hour, hour and a half, two hours. Yeah, hopefully we can uh, go through it all pretty nice and efficiently. We don't want to do it fast because we want to sort of enjoy it, but um, it's not a race for us. But certainly we want to make sure we uh, efficiently get through things. There's not too much downtime between matches, so... Before we get into Indeed. the first one, um, obviously just a reminder that we are both live at the moment on Argzy Gaming and the Farm Some Guys YouTube channels. Uh, so pull both of them up, mute one. You can hear all the commentary and get two different perspectives on what's going on. Yes, indeed. And uh, a big shout out to our sponsors as well, to Thrustmaster and to G Portal for providing the service. That's right. Right, so Arx, um just a little bit of an overview. We're going to do a little bit of a run through between between each round, aren't we? But this is this is our first course, and basically mm -hmm. they're going to they can choose any trees they want to cut down, and then when they're finished, they're going to head out of here to the main road, which is up here along this narrow track, uh, and then they are going to <coughs> hang a left onto the main road. That's right. uh, there are two routes out of here, actually, so they can pick which direction they're going, whether to stay off the main road and run parallel to it or go straight up to the main road. Of course, I'm expecting some corner cutting and uh, use of some of this pasture and farmland. Absolutely, It'll yeah. be interesting to see what happens. Where would we be without it? And then they That's have it. to navigate this quite narrow track just here. So they're going to turn here, um, and then they are going to run up this track here. 
and you'll see that there's two bales either side so they could come in from either end if they wanted to should they wish to do that so they mm. could come down this road over here i don't think that's the quickest route so i don't expect anybody to do that but no. basically when they break <clears> the line <throat> over the bales that is when the time will stop and then we've got a little bit of time to unload into the cell point which is just through these trees over here that's it so Mm. Of course, good. this cell point will be used for a couple of different courses on the map, so um, I think one of the other courses, the fastest route might be to come in the other way. That's right, mm. that's right. Um, shout out to Kelland, who's just gifted five memberships in my chat. Thank you very much, sir. And hello nice to one. everybody in chat, both in Arxis and my chat. Nice yes. to see you all. Thank yeah, you for welcome joining. On. Welcome along, everyone. Much appreciated. Hope you're having a wonderful weekend. What's going right. on? Let's head back, because I think round one... They are primed and ready to go. Yes. So. Yep. So I'll just wait. Under starters for... orders, of course, huge thank you, of, as always, Farmer Hamish for all the hard work he puts in during the week and uh, helping manage and organise the teams. And we've also got Mark Haythlinthwaite stepping in in sort of a 2IC role to give Hamish a bit of a hand and take some of the stresses off him. So thank you, Mark, for making yourself available. Yep. Thank you, Mark. <coughs> Appreciate it. And Hamish, yeah. Great work, as always, chaps. Hmm. All right, start as orders, and we will be up and underway. There we go. Interesting. Take it out. We haven't talked about gear, FSG, and we're about to start, but um, I'm just going to lead off power team. We Esports have. have done something completely different, something we haven't seen anyone do yet, and uh, we'll talk about that a little bit more as this match progresses, but they've gone with the tally handler for their loading equipment, so... Um, yeah, interesting. Interesting. yeah, we were both quite excited during the week when they said, is this an option? Can we do that? Um, the CSC Look how pack. wide they've gone with those forks as well. Yeah, exactly. That is going to give it a really <laughs> stable loading platform, actually. Mm. As Valo goes in for his first cut on his first tree there. Yep. <clears throat> I mean, they have a real abundance of trees here to choose from as well, which is really nice, isn't it? Well, they're all the same size pretty much too, so no team's going to yeah. get an advantage by going through and slimly picking out trees or anything it is just a cut the closest one and get into it kigarino right. is into it here as well uh jimmy sim game with james is sitting there waiting for kegs to get that first tree cut not sure what's going on whether he's just checking his length he's cutting them too a little bit of a delay here as he gets that one processed but uh our team esports down the other end there already have their second tree down and tree down mm. now of course the third member of the team will have collected their trucks from uh the store in town they were already set up there and here they come now yeah, they come so, i was just about to say fsg they are just powering their way in so i'm just going to see how team esports have pulled off to one side methy boy is going to try and squeeze through the gap he's shot the gap and he has passed them both so nice and nice uh, bit of teamwork there obelix yeah. saw him and waited that was That's nice right yeah and very spread out here that's the other thing there's a lot of space there's no cliffs or hillsides or anything to navigate so they are just uh lots of nice open space for them to work in tell you what though Args, watching that first <coughs> load go in with the telehandle it looked very smooth didn't it they got a lot of control over those uh those logs as they uh yeah load them up yeah it's surprising so it was obviously a request they had can we use the csz pack for the uh loading forks and just looking at that grab he's just made that's wow one of the best we've seen look at the maneuverability too with the four wheel steer on the tally handler he's almost yeah. spun a 180 Ooh, he's on the limit of his weight though back wheels off the floor there is a very real consideration for them all right we'll head over here methy boys in with the truck uh so gaming with <coughs> james uh sitting this one out tonight um because he's uh, on holiday sharp farmer Meathy boys subbed him for Sharp Farmer. Yes. Yes. Thank you, pardon. All right, the other observation I'm just going to make is uh, the different trucks. I think is it the uh, our team esports are slightly shorter logs than pinnacle loggers. They might be going for a longer Interesting, log. Interesting, yeah. Just trying to see if there's a difference, trying to pick that out. But We are three minutes into the match. I'm going to pick it's about a, what, minute and a half drive down to that cell point FSG? Yes, something like that, Arx. And I'm uh, sure they were aware of this map, obviously, <coughs> a little bit before, but they didn't know where the uh, positioning of the uh, points were. Hmm. So they only found that out about half an hour before, but I'm sure they will have done some tests on how quickly they can get from one point to another. So right. 
yeah, but we think it's roughly a minute and a half. So as long as they're out of here um, with a little bit of time left, we should uh, we should be good. Yep, absolutely. In fact, I've just realised my time is not up on OBS. I'll need to fix that. Ah. Well, I will keep you abreast of that situation. Just uh, sort of that quiet phase of just cutting and loading. That are doing that as fast as they can, and I think we're already seeing whether it's the advantage of the flat areas, the easy access, or anything like that. Much bigger loads of logs than we've had before. So, yes, I think they'll definitely get more stuff in, won't they? Hundred percent. Um. So, yeah. Just see if I can get this resolve this issue with <clears throat> my timer. Shouldn't be too difficult to do. The other thing I'm noticing just with that tally hand, the Power Team Esports seem to be able to make a tidier load of logs too. It's almost like the grapple on the Volvo load is just a little bit too big for Jimmy to get into the back of the truck properly, but Yes, I think I think that it's it, I think it's the length on the uh, on the telehandler as well. I see uh, Obelix has got it extended quite a lot, which has given him Yeah, that you've not got the the vehicle or the arms of the vehicle getting mm. the way of the spikes on the trailer. They've got, mm. I mean, crikey, they have loaded a lot of logs onto that, haven't they? They have. Yeah, they're fair flying through this. Now, interestingly, though, the length of the logs is almost too low, long for that front truck. He's that had to stack truck, them up yeah, sitting on top of the cab, and that's going to limit the amount of logs they can take on this load, I would think. That is an interesting one, because you would have thought that would have been checked pre, uh, yeah. pre round starting. But, I would have thought uh, so. Interesting. Right, there we go, halfway Five through. It's coming in. I've got the timer up now, so I'm nice. good. And in fact, Doblix is going to try and put some more logs on at the very back, and I wonder if they've communicated the issue and Velo's shortened things down, but El Pepito just moving forward yeah, a few feet cool. there just to help Oblix get a better uh, alignment with the logs on the back. And there we are. Well, that is impressive loading, I've got to say. Oh. I tell you what, my only concern, and we've seen it before, you get a top heavy load of logs and stack too high, that truck yes. will end up on its side if uh, El Pepito is not careful going around a couple of those corners, especially the tight bends is, we've got here on this. That is very true, Args, mm. very true. And look, we've got modern logging, keeping an eye on things yes. um, up in the sky there, keeping an eye on the competition. That's I like it. that, I mm. like that. Mm. must say we've got a very good vibe between the teams. They are very uh, cordial towards each other nice and helpful when it comes to giving up space or anything like that and very supportive of them so nice to yeah, see indeed. yeah hmm. and jimmy sims struggling just a little bit he's got a log behind his rear wheels there which was just kind of hindering hindering him slightly as he was loading up those logs but i'm interested to see if this uh, log length difference is going to come to anything at the end that's right not sure if they'll be uh, you know if they leave at the same time and arrive at the, the uh finish point at the same time is there going to be much of a difference mm, will be interesting to see so power team esports have carried on with the length of logs they had so they are having to stack them sort of a little bit awkwardly on the front of the truck yeah, okay interesting i definitely think that uh, it's hard to tell um it's hard to tell the the quantities what with the longer logs on the bigger trailer versus the, the shorter logs on the shorter trailers you can't really judge who's in the lead really can you no not at all it's very difficult so we're down to just coming up to three minutes to go. So the teams will be thinking about uh, disbanding from here and heading on down to the cell point very soon. Quite a lot of logs on the floor still for the guys uh, from Pinnacle here. But uh, Jimmy Sims definitely going to get this next load in. Kegarino's going for another tree, which I probably think they'll probably have time to get in as well. It's just going to come down kind of to trailer space isn't it one and a half minutes to go i think it is i think it is mm. it's not the tidiest trail load here um we've got things kind of twisted and it's kind of limited the amount they can load up but right i'm just going to interrupt just go logs as well yeah power lag. team esports are on their way out they're heading to the cell point with just over two oh, wow. minutes left on the timer so we will head down with them They've actually lost a log on the way our pepito's had one drop off i don't know whether it wasn't in the strapping zone on the trailer and we definitely are getting those dancing logs on the back, so fingers crossed that doesn't cause any dramas. Yeah, okay. The guys uh, the guys from Pinnacle are away. Um, their logs look like they've disappeared off their trailer altogether, but I, I'm pretty sure that's a, that's a little ping effort. Yeah, they're pl 
try and catch up with them. So yeah, let's same, just follow them along here. Exactly the same issue here for uh, Power Team Esports as we watch them come along the road. El Pepito was very cautious going around that corner. I think he realised he had quite a bit of uh, a top heavy nature on the truck. He was oh, and Messi nice Boy and went for a shortcut, Args, and he's clipped one of the lower trees. Oh um, goodness! And had to he they would have shaved off a massive amount of time. Uh, El Pepito, uh, if he'd not clipped that tree, he's just trying to find his way into the correct entrance. He's just coming up to it now. Of course, like we said before. The guys are not too familiar with where they were heading. It was a little bit of a uh, last-minute surprise on them, but he's negotiated that easily. And he's going to get across the finish line with probably 50 seconds left. Not far away That's now. That's interesting, isn't it? So hmm. maybe um, peaked a little bit too early, the guys there. They Possibly. could have maybe thrown a few more logs on. Yeah. Oh, Matthew Boy has missed the turn. He has clattered into the fence on the other side. Went in a bit too hot there, but... In fact, he's changed. Is he going to cut the corner? He's going to come the direction. up. He is. I don't know what he's doing here. Where's he going? Was he uh, a little bit worried about access and not being able to turn around? There is fences along the side of the road in some areas. Possibly. Um, yeah, we're counting down. We're down to 24 seconds. <laughs> down to the last 20 seconds. It looks like he's going to sneak back through the forest at the back. We're going to have to get Hamish to say, is that count as crossing the finish line getting to the cell point, even if it is through a yeah. uh, different He's now, route? Uh, he actually hasn't really got a route through here, Ox. Kind of. He might be having to run the river here. This is. Or <laughs> along the edge of the river. This could have been close, <clears> but I think actually. What's happened now, Arx, is they've maybe just shot themselves in the foot a little bit. Possibly. My gut feel, and just looking at it, I think Power Team Esports had more logs anyhow, so I think they were going to win yes. it on value, um, which we'll find out very soon. But certainly, here we go, so he's managed to find a way <laughs> through the back. A little bit unorthodox. There we go, we've had the timer stopped at uh, 27 seconds over the time, so... Okay. It'll be a case of now unloading and seeing who comes up with the best uh, profit. Yeah, interesting. It was. Oh, well, good first round. Yeah, Enjoyed yeah. Enjoyed that. It did too, yeah. Definitely. Uh, it's always nice to see that innovation and the teams coming out with fresh ways to thinking. It'll be interesting to see come round three if any of the other teams look at what how Team Esports have innovated here with the tally handler and make their own decision. That was very interesting, wasn't it? Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, considerable amount of logs loaded with that so it really looks was. very efficient mm. right let's wait for them to get them sold and see who gets what of course power team esports one of the uh, uh fsl teams as well so they're used to kind of competing under pressure and uh i think they really really showed the metal there today didn't they they have yeah definitely and uh the communication was on point. You could tell little, just little spots. Here we go. They've sold all but yep. one log. Um, just a couple of spots there where Alpha Pito and Oblux with their communication around unloading seem to come through really clutch. Yeah. Um, confidence obviously high off the back of uh, round one as well, Ox. Yes. Yes, definitely. There we go. Power Team Esports getting out of the way now, and Matthew Boy will bring a truck in from the guys from Pinnacle Loggers. <coughs> Get that other than that little uh, mistake at the end there i think there's a deceptive amount of logs done. on their trailer there's more than you might think yeah. i think you're right i do think you're right ox so just while they get that sorted out just a little bit of background and insight into how the map was selected so we uh put three maps towards the teams and let them vote on which map they wanted to use here for round two. So uh, the vote was overwhelmingly in support here at Denlands. I think it was sort of 70% of the votes would apply on this map. So the, uh, the teams are having a say in where they head to with each round. So kind of nice to have their input. Yes, indeed. Right, we are, Hamish is just typing in the chat now. So we will have the initial results through uh, and confirmed any second now. And then we'll jump straight into hmm. the second round. Indeed.
Just while we're waiting for that to come up, of course, hello to everyone in both the streams. Welcome along. Thank you for tuning in here. Season two round match under the belt. And we're just waiting for the scores to come through. See who was there on we go, top. Ox. It's mm. through. Mm. Wow, look at that the income. Belt team esports. Yeah, crossing the line with 44 seconds left on the clock. And a massive 40,000 litres of logs. Um, Pinnacle running 26 seconds over and only had 23,000 uh, logs available as well. So I think an overwhelmingly uh, big win there for the Power Team Esports guys. Yeah, that's Very huge. Impressive. That's huge, the uh, the difference there between the two. I, I thought it was closer than that when I looked at it second time, yeah. but um, that's a massive, massive difference. So yeah, $40,576 Power Team Esports just off their logs, and Pinnacle were at 25888 and took a bit of a penalty at the end. But um, yeah, very, that's right. very overwhelming victory. Very overwhelming indeed. Right, yeah. I am going to fly over to our second... So you can see the two trucks there waiting, ready to go for the second round. If we fly over here, somewhere in here is some equipment. I just pop my my map up so I can <laughs> find it. Go. Straight on. So here we are, and this will be the Logmeisters. Versus modern logging. So there's Farming Alex, Tobias, and Faban already here. We'll be waiting for you, a few of the other guys to arrive, and then it will be good to go. Some more traditional equipment <clears throat> here. Very much so. But um, I wonder, you're right, after after watching Power Team Esports there, I wonder if there'll be some discussions in teams after this round. Yeah, I, I wouldn't surprise me if there is. Um, of course, the other two operators are at their trucks waiting to drive here so we do have all the teams waiting and ready to go although Mark's standing with Alex so we've got one one member of the team's not quite here yet that's Ho right hopefully it's you and not me Chinook with the audio cutting out but let me know if there is a is an issue you did have a little crackle before Args but you're back now I think it might be my voice <laughs> a rough this morning. Poor Args is struggling a bit. He's oh. not well, but he's still here <laughs> for Login League. Yes, I can't turn my head too quickly one direction. Mowing lawns with a right on lawnmower and can still injure yourself. Look at that one out. <laughs> J-Mac yeah. Trucking, what have you missed? You've just missed a very impressive round from the guys at Power Team Esports. Very much I think so. probably one of the largest loads we've ever seen in uh, in Login League, actually, I, Ox. Yeah, I would say that would say. be. I would say that, and, and quite safely say that was would be our record load. Ten, yeah. ten minutes and you've sold $40,000 worth of trees. It's, uh, it's a pretty impressive moneymaker. You can see why forestry is such it a is. lucrative way for a start-from-scratch map or something like that. Yes, indeed. Of course, you're not going to have a tally handler truck and forestry harvester to do it all with but still all right, so we're just waiting for just gonna have a look at our another uh, member oh we do have starters orders here okay who's uh who's missing i'm just trying to make make out here whether one of the teams is only playing with two i'm not quite sure Actually, going to have a quick look at the team list. We've got Modern Logging with Farming Alex and Samu, so no Samu at the moment, it would seem. Interesting, yeah. Looks like Alex is just going to go for it himself. Mm, fly solo. I suppose the issue, the, 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 it's not a huge issue, really, is it? Because until you've got a pile of trees cut to the right length, um, you don't need to use the grab, and by that point, the truck driver's usually here anyway. So Yeah, um, that's right. From that perspective, it might it might not cause too much of an issue, and obviously mm. the guys have thought about that and just decided to go for it anyway. Mm. And we saw it last uh, last round. We had one of the teams play two men, and uh, they gave a good fist of it. That's right, that's right. And we've seen in the past actually as well, haven't we? Our volume of logs, even on the solo rounds, isn't drastically different to that of the three uh, the three player team rounds. So. No, that's right, that's right. Yeah, so dare both I say for their first <clears throat> tree down there? Hmm. Dare I say that uh Power Team Esports could have possibly hit fifty K if they had more space on their truck. 
think about that. Yes. Yes, it's a very good point. Yeah. So we are in the <clears> phase <throat> of just gathering as many logs as they can. Hmm. Um, we will see the trucks arriving very soon. Tobias doing a good job moving felled logs out of the way there to give Faban as much space as possible. And the trucks Alex, have actually taken... Unfortunately, it doesn't have that luxury. Yeah, the trucks have taken different routes. So we've got the first truck coming in here on the right-hand side, which is modern logging. And uh, the other truck will come in behind where you are. My mini if cheaper. Interesting. Yeah. I wonder if they're pre-planning routes to yeah, determine sure. which is the fastest. Not sure. We just, did just see modern logging taking out some of the logs to buy some stacked, but Schiffelmeister yeah. coming in in the other direction. Yep, there we go. See, the teams are working in closer proximity here on this course. Uh, and kind of split up as far as the other two teams did. Yeah, that's interesting, isn't it? They've just literally gone as quickly as they can to the logs. Hmm. Oh. A little bit of a lack of communication there from Alex and Modern Logging, both moving into the same space. Now, remember, Modern Logging's a bit of a wizard when it comes to loading... Uh, Loading the trailers with this grab, so mm. he's uh, just very... Oh, it's like a buttery smooth move, that was. Mm. He was rotating, swinging the logs around, and dropping them onto the trailer all at the same time. Very nicely done. Now, do you know what I can see happening here? Farming Alex is almost cutting for barn out of trees. Kind of going directly across the corner of that little section. Yeah, interesting. <clears throat> and definitely, I would say, the modern logging team do have more logs cut and trees on the ground already, so... Definitely yep. an advantage there for them at the moment. Yeah. Uh, Tobias equally as adept with the loading operation as modern logging is. It's uh, very impressive to see. And again, like last time, Args, um, for Banner Tobias, they're much longer logs than Alex and modern logging. So, uh, yeah. again, different, different approaches. They're kind of hoping and guessing... You know, if they load them neatly, which they are doing, they'll be able to get more more wood on. Hmm. It's least handling too, isn't it? Tobias is and what it might look like modern logging you have more logs on the ground, it's because they're shorter and uh, Alex has cut them yep. to a shorter length, but I don't think modern logging watching him use that grab is gonna have any issues picking those up. No, they're both there's some impressive impressive people have been practicing. It's safe to say. Now Faban's got a log stuck in his tracks here, which I think he's stopping him moving forward, actually. There he is. He's just freed himself. Yep, Tobias going into grab. grab another. Uh, both Tobias <coughs> and Mon Logging are pretty, pretty cool with this grab, aren't they? They are. Very much so. All right, so we're coming up on five minutes gone. Just on five minutes or four minutes 20 down. So almost halfway. Teams will start being... to. Getting to think about how they finish this off and get their trucks moving down to the cell point. Now we're heading to a different cell point for this one too. Slightly different we are, location. I would say it's almost a little bit closer, isn't it, Arx? It is, yeah. It probably should head out and you'll see the way that uh, Modern Logging located and positioned his truck facing the direction he has because I think that will be the quickest route to get to the next of the cell points. Yep, yeah, I think you're right. I think you're right. In fact, if I just jump to my map quickly... Uh, while they are loading up, I'll show you that uh, obviously there's where they're working and here is where the cell point is between fields 25 and 26. So um, they've literally got to follow this track all the way out of the forest and then they hit it straight away. Hamish with a five minute warning. Great looking load of logs that Tobias and Schiffermeister have managed to put together and uh, Tobias is actually... <laughs> Not happy with the position of the hay bale and has just thrown that out of the way with the grab, so. <laughs> there you go, there's a new challenge for oh, you, yeah. FSG, using that excavator on Court Farms. Yeah. Bale bale for bale loading, bale loading. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, it's hard to judge who's got the most logs here, Args. Right? I think this is pretty close in terms of. Um, I agree. Yeah. Quantities. Yep, no, it definitely is. Um, it's going to be a close round, this one. Like you say, the only difference is modern logging are pointing, ready to head out. Schiffelmeister hmm. is going to have to do a manoeuvre. 
yep. to get himself ready. But Still plenty of time though. I've got another two minutes, I would say, of potential cutting and loading here. We could be getting to a point, Args, where people run out of space in their trucks before time is up. If they keep improving like they are, mm. in terms of the speed of loading, um, we're going to have a different problem on our hands. Yeah. One thing to talk about we uh, with the leaderboards, which you can see on the Logging League website, uh, check out where everyone is positioned at the moment. There is bonus points available for finishing within the time. So unfortunately in the last match, Nickel Loggers missed out on a potential 10 points, I think it is, just by taking the wrong route to the sell point. So even though they lost, That's right. they could have grabbed that 10 points, which could come in crucial when it comes to final rankings. That's right. Good point, Arx. Good point. J-Mac, thank you for the super chat, my friend. That is very much appreciated. All right, three minutes to go. Getting to the pointy end of this match. Um, but you're right. I think these guys are getting pretty close to a full truck. Jiffermeister doesn't have too much room left on there, and Tobias is actually struggling to get them to sit up there. But, oh, yes, he's just pushed one off the other yeah, side. Yeah, gone right off the top. Yeah. yeah. I think same issue here for modern logging. They may be able to squeeze a few on the front. Uh, yeah, they... Tobias lost both those logs he was trying to get on, so it's coming down to these last sort of clutch moments as to see who will get the most. I wonder if that log that's on the side here of uh, Modern Logging's truck could cause a problem when they strap it down, because that could oh, yes. drag along that. and become a bit of an obstruction, but no, Alex, Alex is unserious moment. Uh, sort Uns that out. Yeah. <laughs> And at the same time, created a bit of a problem on the other side. All right, two I've got minutes. to say though, for just the two of them together, that is a fairly good effort from the guys, isn't it? it certainly is. Very sharp. Two minutes to go. We're getting the warning there, and Alex is strapped and off. Yeah, Alex is gone. Right, I shall follow Alex. In fact, Schiffelmeister is strapped down, and he's trying to get his truck turned around. He's grappling with logs, stumps, trees. Just about everything making it hard for him to face the right direction. Tobias is actually giving the truck a push to try and get them turned out of there. This could actually be a problem for them. Not sure what he's stuck on, but he's really struggling to get going. Oh, interesting. And Tobias is using the uh, he's using the grapple to try and help turn him around. There we go. They look like they're disconnected from where they need to be now. Just on a minute though to get to where he needs to be and he's uh he's reversing to get turned around. This is this is not ideal for them. Alright, he's facing the right That's way one now. Minute warming. He's facing the right way now, so let's see how he goes and getting to where he needs to be. He's gonna roll the truck. Schiffelmeister is no. on his side. The time Oh, oh no. That is gonna be it done for them, I think. Um modern logging the competition has jumped into his grapple immediately and is trying to help them get that truck righted and look at that one grab on a log and he's pulled him back up on his wheels it's like oh, i said fantastic. like Great i said teamwork. before yeah well that's the competitors helping them out which is nice to see yeah, friendly to that. and a thank you in the chat so here we go but oh could have been so much worse for them it's still gonna be alex is just arriving at the sell point here because oh, he's just about to break the finish line with six, five seconds left. That's uh, pretty so well timed. So timed to perfection. Timed to perfection by the guys. Mm. And it would have been close. What a shame. That what a have, shame. That would have been incredibly close if he'd been able to uh, firstly get turned around. And obviously that time he lost just trying to negotiate, just put a bit of a panic in and he took the corner just a little bit faster than he should have. Yeah. Because logmeisters would up, up until that point were doing a phenomenal job. Hmm. Once again, it'll be interesting job. to see whether they lose on value in penalties, win on value and lose on penalties. Right. So Hamish is ensuring that uh, uh, Alex is getting these sold before Schiff the logmeisters arrive. And shufflemeisters just leaving the forest, and we'll go straight over the road. Into the cell point with about a 50 second penalty. He's going to roll again. No! <laughs> uh, Schiffelmeister is over and he does not. Look he's at got him momentum. He's got momentum. It's taken past the finish line pretty much 58 seconds. Oh. 
Oh, Schiffelmeister. Yeah, right. that is a lot of heavy logs on there. So we they do have permission to uh, super strength that back on its wheels now. Now he's crossed the finish line. Um, In fact, modern logging is going to use a track this time to try and right them. Or at least push them across the cell point. One or the other. <laughs> Sideways across the cell point. Got to say, that's two great rounds, though, in terms of speed and uh, and the amount of logs that they managed that has to been, uh, gather up. is really impressive, isn't it? It has been incredibly impressive. Right. I did see Mark dropped out of yeah, the server halfway the, through. J-Mac in the chat. Yeah. yeah, Mark's spoiling it for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> J-Mac saying in the chat here, I love that farmers helping other farmers. Yep, that's that is it. the first rule of farming, right? It's the spirit in which it's all being played. It's what we enjoy. Yes, it is very good. Very good indeed. <laughs> Shufflemeister's just staying in the track. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's oh. had enough. Oh, Hamish yeah. is in now. Yeah. Hamish has got it under control. Um, just waiting for Jimmy Sim to join, who's uh, going to be playing in our next heat, heat mm. three, which is a 1v1v1, our first of the night. So yes. that should be good fun. I think we've got a combination here of super strength going on trying to turn that truck over and uh, modern logging pushing it, but... Here we go, I think we've got it now. Here we go. Yeah. Too far. Amish just squashed himself with the truck. A load of logs. Is this what you call a Scottish fling? Something, yeah. That's <laughs> yeah. just basically caber tossing. Edge caber tossing, that's right. <laughs> Right, we'll just uh, some of the guys coming in for the next round hmm. while we sort this out. And we'll just uh, talk among ourselves yeah. for another moment. Yes. There we go. And next one. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's coming in. Uh, hard case. It's all good. It's all. I do quite like these faster games, are because I don't know about you. I know. Uh, I know it's one of the big changes from last season, but uh, yeah, having uh, times these, these time quick ten matches. minutes game kind of yeah, they're good, aren't they? Create yeah, a bit nice. of uh, urgency to things. Hmm. And we're not seeing things being too much different in terms of selling and those kind of things. We're seeing similar size loads and um, that kind of thing. So I don't think it's really changed the dynamic. Add to that the, the loading the logs onto the trailers because it gives them a little bit more, uh, requires a little bit more accuracy, but also allows for a little bit more innovation when you see things like the uh, tally handler, um, the different trucks being used. We didn't see any of those trucks with the uh, crane on them being used last season. So That's right. That's right. Yeah. So um, here we go. Lots right. Shufflemeister will sell those. And we'll see... Uh, Hamish will be straight back in with uh, the scores hmm. in, in not much time. Now, um, in terms of our next... In fact, we'll fly over to it while uh, Hamish is sorting the scores out. We are going to fly south. We're going to fly over the uh, point that we were at last time. So there's... Uh, the remnants of the game we just had, and just a little bit further south, is our staging point for round three. And getting our first uh, solo match for the day, which is exciting. Let's see how the boys right. tackle this one today. The solos were interesting last time, actually. I quite enjoyed those. Um, but two cracking matches yes, so far. Yes, they were, weren't they? Mm. The cracking matches. So here we are. Uh, and they have all their equipment here, so they have their trailers here as well. Um, and remember, Coelho, who was our new player this season, um, I think it opened a lot of people's eyes when he turned up with the Hannibal um, he chopper did. Yeah. and performed very well with it, didn't he? Mm. So he's back again with that and the high lift. Yeah. Right, I'm just going to go through the results from the last match, FSG. They're up there. Um, modern Logging and Logmeisters. So... Modern Logging came in with five seconds to spare, sold $31,000 worth of wood. 
and they have come out victorious and Logmeisters, however, they'll be a little bit frustrated with this. They had $4,000 more wood on their truck, $35,000, but because of that time, they took an almost $6,000 penalty, which ended them up with just under 30000 So from being in a winning position of having 4000 more, they lost by 2000 because of that time delay. So it would have been really close. It would have been really close if modern uh, if they hadn't rolled that truck. Sorry, Schiffelmeister hadn't rolled the truck. On the way out, I think the penalty, they could have actually won that one just having more wood, but taking a small penalty. So, modern yeah, logging winning. Yeah, fine margins there. Yeah, there is. Fine that margins. One. Incredibly fine. And that was, excellent. again, impressive showing for modern logging as a two-man team there. That's, yes, that's right, yeah. Mm, just uh, unfortunate for logmeisters with that little roll. And showed, do you know what it showed to me was the benefit of facing the truck, orientating tr the truck in the right direction, when they first arrived yep. onto the site, uh, not having to turn around or do any of that mucking around. They didn't have to neg navigate yep. that. The truck was empty. There was no risk of it tipping. Um, yeah. Yep. Those yeah, fine just margins. planning ahead. Yeah. Planning ahead. And yeah, that was the difference. Mm. Right. Uh, great round. Love yeah. that round. Yeah, really good. good. Yeah, two good ones so far. Right, let's see if these solo guys can uh, carry on that kind of performance. Yes, indeed. Right, we are just waiting. Um, for the green light to get started. Uh, hello to everyone who's joining in chat and saying hello there. Nice to have you here. Indeed. Welcome uh, along, welcome, everyone. Welcome, welcome. So Mark Haythamthwaite is our bail today. He is the starting point. The boys have to go and stand around him, and uh, he'll be setting them off Where in just he? a minute. Oh, there he is. There he is. The Faban, Coelho, and Jimmy Sim here battling this one out. Jimmy Sim has the Horsh Iron Man costume out. Coelho and Faban both dressed up in their forestry equipment. I viz. Don't know what that means about Jimmy if there's a performance, if he thinks he needs to have a uh, full face helmet on. <laughs> and they're off. Yo! Well, I tell you what, that, uh, that outfit got him to his equipment first, so maybe there's a little bit of a speed perk there. Yeah, not slowing him down anyway. No. But in saying that, Coelho's right. the first one out, and who's going to get to a tree first? Uh, Coelho's swung back around and he's hitting the trees behind him, which is interesting. I think that's a smart move, if it's true. guys have gone straight on. Yeah, I do too. I think he's probably predicted everybody else would go straight on, so... Yeah. To so avoid fighting over the same trees. That's he's, right. He's making his own little space. Look at it very nicely by the side of the road here. Mm. So if a barn has dropped... Now, the only challenge the here, Args, I've yes. just spotted, is there are a lot of small trees just here, just, just underneath you there. Whereas the guys across the road, everything is yeah. a big tree. So yeah. he's going to have to pick his way through to get to the big trees here. Yeah, that, that is might a, be a slight disadvantage. Problem. Although using the uh, Hannibal, he can go through, cut them, keep them vertical, and bring them back out before he tips them down too. So he doesn't have to drag a tree Very through true. through those small ones. Oh. Very true. Got to pause. No worries. I'm looking at Jimmy Sim seems to be having a few difficulties with cutting trees. I wonder if there was a permissions not quite set up for him. So I'll just wait while uh, this is resolved by uh, Hamish. Keybind issue. Keybind issue. Ah, right, okay. I think it's only fair we allow him to fix that. <laughs> Right, so we're sort of all holding. <laughs> well, those trees just falling down. Interesting, these guys, they, they look like they're a couple of angry loggers ready to go. And there we go, Jimmy looks like he's got his keybind right. fixed. It has cut, so let's just wait and see. Now back underway by the looks of things for Barnes cutting a tree. Yep. Restart on voice chat, right, so... Yep. Amish okay, will be in chat with these guys, telling them when to start. And the time is running, so they're back up and going. So hopefully that won't have had too much of an impact on Jimmy. Um, we shall see later on. Hmm, interesting to see Dragter's logs right out into the middle of the road, and there's actually no way past with a truck at the moment. Yeah, interesting. He might have to uh, make sure he moves those relatively quickly because he's mm. blocking the other teams at the moment. Mm. But 
the band just working away over there as well. It's a, it's a different uh, different pace to these matches because obviously the the three players are all focusing on getting trees cut down. There's no load logging, lo load loading. Sorry, there's no trucks arriving. It's kind of this staged approach to the whole match. That's right, and you've got to consider how much time you leave for loading as well, don't you? Mm. Which you don't you have to worry less about in the team rounds. So. Mm. Um, now this cell point is heading down to the original one, the first one we used for match number one. That's we right. And not too far away from where we were for match number one. I think they head straight down this road and they'll be just about at the cell point, so pretty easy course for them. Yeah. And that is one one thing with this map. Um, it's obviously the same for all teams, but it is certainly a much easier drive than some of the off-road tracks that were on Silver and Forest. That's right, yeah, it's a totally different type of approach, isn't it? It is. That's the same which for each is, team, though. Which is so. fun. Hmm. It is nice. It brings a whole different set of challenges with it, doesn't it? It does. Baban has got a seriously impressive load here. I've not checked out Coelho for a bit, but... Coelho's like pile's looking okay really well. nice. Very neat and tidy. And he's got the high lift as well, Arg, so you remember uh, how many logs you can pick up in one go with that yeah it's, it's not bad i was uh, i was wondering actually i wasn't clear on whose equipment was whose here so all right with three and a half well, minutes really into taking the match. time to align his really taking time to align his logs up there before he cut which was impressive yes until he cut one and it pushed some out of the way which is always the <laughs> problem trying to stack them neatly Pretty equal amounts and interesting. It looks like Faban's gone for a longer log than Jimmy has. Yes. Definitely has. Um, Faban has left his stumps quite high though. Here, yeah, so he's going to mm. struggle to run over the top of those, which could cause him some issues when loading, to be mm. honest. Though he's a, uh, he's a grapple loader, isn't he? So. If he can park his truck next he to is, it and yes. get the grapple weed the side, I think he'll just be picking up a couple at a time, spinning them on. That's right. And taking the time to get rid of the uh, skinny wood on the top of the tree as well. Yeah. Actually, right. the flip side of that, yeah, he should be fine, but uh, he could use those high stumps as actually a uh, a barrier so he Backstop, could load up yeah. against it if he wants right. to. Now, interesting, he's decided the closest tree to him is actually over the road, so he's crossed across rather than running around all those stumps, which is kind of a clever little tactic too. Hmm, Coelho's just done the same actually. Come over to the other side and grabbed a tree. It's so coming up on five minutes, so we're halfway through. We'll get the five minute warning on the chat in just a minute. And uh, just look in there. No one's yet made an approach towards the trucks. No one's started loading or even yep. thought about it. They're still in that sort of let's cut phase. Who's going to flinch and move first? It's like Jimmy. Jimmy's out Coelho, of his... Coelho. Oh yeah, Jimmy's... He's jumping around here. What is Jimmy doing? He's just standing in one spot jumping. Ah, he's lagged. We've got two Jimmys on the screen for me. Ah yes, he's in his truck as he's well. He's in his truck now. Faban also in his truck. Faban accidentally disconnecting his trailer as well. Now here we see the issue Jimmy had by putting those logs where he did. It's kind of uh, yeah. obstructing some of the others and Coelho's going to have fun getting his truck down to where he needs it when he chooses to and we're running down to four minutes so. Yeah I think um, we'll see what will happen here. I'm kind of hoping that by Faban and uh, Jimmy moving their vehicles out of the way there will be enough space here for Coelho to get his truck through. He's on hmm. his way now so this this is definitely going to be interesting. Hmm. And see, so Jimmy's not moved either. I don't know what's going on with him. He's having some network issues, connection issues. Ah, he's left the oh, server. Yeah, Jimmy's right. gone. Jimmy has gone. I'm just waiting to see so, if Hamish is going to pause proceedings there. Coelho's just rallying through the trees in the absence of any uh, pause yet. He's just cracking on, which I don't blame him for. So is yeah. Faban, actually. Oh, there we go. Ah, he's paused now. We've got to pause while we see if uh, Jimmy can reconnect. But Coelho had worked his way through 
that challenging gap there mm. pretty pretty well so uh, it I don't think yeah, it's slowed it down quarter. much no no and of course this is the uh the fun and joys of having a competition run entirely online with competitors from all around the world joining in to play there is always that Rel right. reliance on a good solid internet connection and some of the vagaries of those do lead to players dropping out um i mean even you and i have had issues before dropping out midway through something so we have indeed yeah we have indeed dogs um i'm just going to take the chance to uh, say hello to carl tg modding who's just popped into chat and said oh man i can see a really familiar map here now this is <laughs> carl tg's map Deerlands. well so. carl thank you for the map yeah it's nice to uh, nice to be here and nice to be tackling a logging league on a bit of a different challenge, and it's uh, certainly dished up some good matches so far. It has indeed. It has mm. indeed. And I've got JGIV. How do you get into this? Um, asking in the chat here. We do have a a website, loggingleague.com, which you can go and check out. Entries for this season have closed, but uh, by all means, check it out and uh, prep yourself for. Uh, Maybe season three. Mm. Get practicing now. Yeah. I'm just waiting to see if Ooh. Jimmy's going to be able to reconnect here or not. Yeah. Cabello's flashing. He's keen to go. He wants to get back into it. He Must does. He's, uh, I think he feels like he's uh, in, with a sh in with a chance of... Uh, Pulling this round off hmm. as the winner. I mean, really, uh, JRTV, is... can you find teams and stuff on there? There is information on there, G, uh, JGIV, and you can also join the Discord, the Logging League Discord as well. And um, in fact, we have a few teams that were created from in, uh, from solos looking for other team members. And in fact, dare I say it, I think our winners from last season in the team round started off as three solo players that just got together and uh, yeah. went on and won the whole thing. They did. They did. Right, let's see how long do we wait here. Mm. I was just going to say, FSG, there's really, to me at the moment, with three and a half minutes left, no one has a clear advantage. Um, for Barn is closest to starting loading, but no one has a log on their truck yet. So we uh, yep. going to be a frantic last little period. Here he comes. And three and a half minutes doesn't take that long. Well, it actually takes three and a half minutes. <laughs> it but... does. <laughs> But it will feel very quick. It will fly is by. what I was trying to say. I know. Yeah. They'll be counting down at what stage do they need to stop. Like, there's always that temptation to throw one more log onto the back um, at the risk of not finishing in time, attracting a penalty, watching one of your competitors leave before you do. Um, there's all sorts of I guess, right. a bit of uh, psychological gameplay coming in there and tactics, which might That's try right. and I throw your team in probably, There's probably a minute and a half still to the sell point. I don't think it's massively... Uh, it's not a long distance. Less no. than the other two rounds. No. So it's a straight line, so they're not going to roll them onto the side. Well, not until they turn into the into the road for the cell point. But mm. uh, distance-wise, it's as roughly the same as the others. Hamish mm. has done a good job in making things uh, pretty balanced on yes, this map. Absolutely. So Jimmy's back. We're just synchronizing with him, and mm. then it's quite hopefully. A long We'll be able to jump straight into it and get these last three minutes sorted. Mm. So coming up after this, we do have a, another solo match, don't we? Am I correct? I'm trying to remember our. Uh, you order are of correct, play. dogs. Yeah, Kegarino versus Methy Boy versus Bob. So yes. uh, could be could make for a good round. Mm. Yep. So we'll get that game underway once we've finished with this, and that'll leave us with uh, another teams match and two more solos to round out round two. The logging league That's at right. season two. Uh, we'll have a server reset in there in between. Um, but we will have Kigarino, Methy Boy, and Bob. They will be on a course we haven't seen yet either. Right. That's James synced in, I'm assuming. There we go. Wait for him to get I'm over doing here. very well, thank you, Amy. Thank you for asking. Enjoying logging league. Been fun tonight. Enjoyed it so mm. far. So far. Right. That's James. Gonna make it in, not sure. He has joined the server. There he is, he's in right, his truck. Jimmy's back in his truck. Make sure he's so joined I the think farm, we're just got waiting on, uh, 
green light from Hamish and we'll be good to go. Just make sure he has all the correct permissions of those loading. Right, there we go. Time is up and they are we moving are back underway. The ban here. First two logs on his shocking pink truck and trailer, <laughs> which I do like a lot. All right. Well, Coelho and Jimmy have not got much space between them here for their loading, so this is going to be interesting to see what happens. Faban definitely has an advantage with the space down there. Let's just wait and see what happens with these two. Coelho, yes, as you said, does have the, uh, the big grapple loader, the big high lift. Getting things organised there to try and load some logs up. Faban here having a bit of a nightmare. He's picked up a log right at the end of it. And in fact, he's given up and thrown it back onto the pile and is going to try and grab it more centrally because uh, he just could not get it onto the trailer. Coelho going for his first grab here. If he can get the logs that he has... Oh, no. Typically frustrating physics there. They popped out a little bit, but he was almost going to pick up a good third to a half of his stack in one go. Hasn't quite worked out for him, but he's still got a decent amount there as we come down to 2 minutes 20 to go. I'm going to keep a close eye on this timer FSG because I think that is going to come into play big time. It is indeed. Paul Faban is just not getting the rub of the green here with these uh, trees at all. Um, everything he picks up is not just wanting to sit on the trailer neatly. So, uh, But I think he might have got himself a little bit of a rhythm now with 2 minutes to go. Alright, so... Coelho is sort of trying to get these logs in the right spot to drop on the trailer. Jimmy's having real issues trying to pick his up. He can't, hasn't got any logs yet. He gave up on one stack and he's gone to another one. So I don't know whether he's having some more network issues which are making it hard for him. Um, but we're not going to see the, certainly the price of logs that we got last time. And do you know what? This is one of those points where you've got to be watching the other players and deciding... How do you play this? Do you want to go now? I mean, Coelho could go now uh, and get inside the time limit. Um, That's right. Or he wants to try and get another load in um, because I'd... he can move quite a lot of logs. Yeah, I'm just looking at what he's picking up now. If he can get that all, you know, 90% of that on the trailer, I would be jumping in the cab. I'd be out of here. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we're coming up to one minute left, Ox. So yeah. I don't think anybody's going to hit this within the time limit so no. um jimmy's got his first log up so taking the Coelho time to has jump in his truck huge there. Ah, he's getting stuck on the trailer there at the end yeah, though just one rope hanging he's just trying to position himself to get that one past of course he can twist the grapple around a little bit but I can see it's in their movements and all the way they're logging, like the way for Barnes stacking, what Jimmy's trying to do. These guys are uh, really worried, but look at that. Well, he's just doubled what he had inside, and that is him going. Ban also for trying Ban's to get away out. as well. It's going to be a race on the road. But Ban doesn't want Ban. that penalty. No. Oh. With the high lift on the way out, and Coelho's going at the same time. Oh, Faban's got stuck, which has allowed Coelho to get out in front of him. Oh, and he's got the logs oh, hanging out the back. Is affecting it's Faban. That long trailer. Yeah, it's a mixture of long trailer and uh, a few logs hanging out the side that just messed him up a bit there. Right. But there goes Faban. This is going to be close, Ox. Although I do think Coelho is rocking a lot more logs. I think so too. I think Coelho has definitely managed to load a lot more. Uh, Mindful of well, if you don't second place up for grabs, there is. And mindful if you don't finish in the two minutes or twelve minutes total, you're uh, considered a DNF. So it's another consideration for them. That's right, and we are thirty seconds over time already. Yep. Let's just see how they go navigating the entrance here to the cell point. Coelho's just approaching it now. He's trying to make sure he gets down the right one. DJ Bob's there watching. He's found it and he is turning in. Faban is cutting the corner. Faban has taken a big leap to the right. He's cutting oh, through yes. the fields. And that saved well himself. Spotted, that Faban. saved himself 10 seconds. He's going to go through pretty much line of steam behind, behind Coelho. Oh, no. Oh, no. That log that, that was log. hanging out of the side, he's absolutely, yeah, split the tree. 
he's going to have to reverse quite hard here, and his wheels are stuck there. The... Oh. oh, dear me. He could not have picked that worse, I don't think. Oh, my goodness. He's going to have to really negotiate around that. There he is. Well done, Faban. Well done, mate. He's unlocked it. And that's all because he had a rogue log sticking out of the side. I think a little bit of decorum and just, you know, taking a deep breath and letting Coelho go through first. Yeah. Pushed it just that fraction too far. Right. So. A win on the road does not mean everything, does it? No, that's right. And I've just come back out to the road and I can see Jimmy Sims is running along. He has got 10 seconds. He's not going to make it here in time, unfortunately. So not the best competition for him. In fact, he's crashed with one of the fences. It does really narrow down here. So uh, some, a whole lot of new challenges this map has brought for the players yeah i am gonna to have to say a big apology to some of the local farmers as well who have lost a lot of <laughs> well, <laughs> <with I'd... laughs> trucks battering through their fields tonight i think fortunately we own the whole map so uh oh, okay we're good yeah. then i'm not sure about you i'm not planning on getting in here and harvesting it so i think we'll be fine <laughs> also think cotton might be a bit of an uncommon crop in finland Right. Oh, Jimmy has Jimmy's, uh, Jimmy's had enough. thrown in the towel big, <laughs> big time. <clears throat> big time. I can understand the frustration and the pressure that goes on. Um, having done this a couple of times myself, it certainly certainly messes with you. It go. does. Let's it does make sure indeed. that truck is out of the way for the next match. One more on the server and then we'll be resetting things. Just wait now for I'm Hamish getting rid of those. to uh, finalise things here for us. Yeah, so while Hamish does that, you can actually see our fourth point just over here. The final round on this server. This is going to be Kegarino versus Methy Boy versus Bob. You guys should be in already and waiting, and they are. So, um, you know, interestingly, their trucks are the other side of this railway crossing. And we have got barriers here so timing wise they're gonna to have to plan this mm. and make sure they don't bump into each other yeah i don't know if the train runs on this uh, i'm not sure either actually map, actually um carl thanks for stopping i might appreciate having you here um you just asked about whether they choose their own machine so yes they do they pick their own equipment and uh can use what they want so interesting we've had some interesting methods and techniques used and employed so um, but yeah, thank you for a great map and thank you uh, thank you for the time you spent putting it together. Yeah, much appreciated. Mm. Loving it. Really mm. nice map. Mm. Right, scores are up there, FSG. Do you want to summarise what's happening? Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. So um, I think we could probably predict this one based on what we could see going mm. on. Uh, Coelho crossing the line a minute and nine in deficit with, with 25,000 uh, logs on so um quite a big penalty applied uh, but still brings him out uh, in first position uh for ban crossing the line uh, a minute and 39 over time um so again only 13,318 uh, liters of logs on there and a massive 9,925 uh, log um penalty he took there so he makes second position and jimmy sim never made it within the time limit so is a DNF for that round. Um, hmm. Frustrating for him, I'm sure. Yeah. But uh, good round, good, well played by the guys, and very tight circumstances actually. It was. It was. That was a tough. That was a tough uh, positioned uh, route. That one. It was. For those guys. A, bit, a bit challenging there, particularly having three players running around in it. Um, but I think that that was really highlighted the benefits of that high lift. We've talked about it lots, but yes. um, Coelho loaded. You know, picked up two lots of logs and was often sold twice as much as anyone else so yes indeed now this is going to be interesting Args, because there's only trees in front of them so they're either going to have to spread out or we're going to have a similar issue here where they're all fighting over a very short correct small amount of space yeah exactly so we're on the starters orders and we're off and going kigarino methy boy and dj bob um not much difference in their equipment to be honest all the same tree processes just gone for different wheel configurations very similar on their loaders to the high lifts and yep. one of the grapples and looking over at the oh, trucks look at that synchronized drive out though <laughs> yeah and keg's actually going all the way over the train tracks he's decided to really get some so he space. doesn't need to move his truck maybe hmm certainly not as far that's uh that's some forward thinking isn't it yeah a 
Messy Boy still struggling to get his first tree cut here. DJ Bob blocking the road here, which is an interesting tactic again. And not really an issue here because they can go round into the field. Yeah, but, I was uh, just going to say if you can destroy a bit more, uh, what is it, canola this time around? Yeah. Soybeans. I don't think anybody does it intentionally. I think it's just trying to plan how they can get things loaded relatively easily. That's right. I don't think he's intentionally blocking the other teams in there at all. No. No. But nice neat pile started there. Methy Boy's still not cut a tree yet. Um... He's struggling with his cutter there to get things sorted. Ah, he had the he had the head stuck on the uh, tree there, but that is not the great start that he would have been looking for. That will be very frustrating. Hmm. Let's see if he can uh, put that out of his mind. Do you know what I noticed? It's sort of one of the takeaways I have from the last match is I think they all cut down too many trees. Yeah. They didn't put enough allow didn't make enough allowance for time. To load and I think if they started loading just a fraction even a minute earlier I think it was about the three minute yep. 30 mark that they both started or all started loading I think I think in these solos I'd be cutting for five minutes allow myself three three and a half minutes to load and a minute and a half to travel no I think that's fair definitely no, let's yeah, just see how they follow a, follow along on this one underestimated hmm. even five minutes of cutting is, is a lot of logs just looking at what Kikarino has already managed to get cut down here. He does have some very neat piles, and I think he is one of the high lift operators. So if he can uh, keep these stacks nice and clean and pick most of them up in one go. I we'll can't a, work out what's yeah. happening with Methy. He's only managed one tree so far, and every time he's got a second tree now, I think he's just struggling a little bit there. I don't know why. There's a little bit of a visual glitch here as think well. I think we've talked about it before, and you know the different tree processes can cut different diameter logs. And some of the trees, if you try and grab them too low, the log diameter does get just a touch too big. Yeah. Um, but I do believe as well, just looking at the trees, these might be pixel farms uh, trees as well, which are a slightly different looking tree to base game ones. Used yeah, extensively on a think... number of forestry maps. I'll mark her being one of them. The problem and Methy doesn't seem to be able to cut these grey trees, which is interesting. Can't seem to get the, the cutter head around them. Hmm. It's interesting. It looks like it is too um it, they are too big for it. Yeah. So maybe he's selected the wrong uh, the wrong tool. And I think it is that actually, Ox. Oh, he's definitely going for these lighter lighter brown trees because they are working. It's interesting because the others don't seem to be having the same issues. I don't know if you can... Yeah, it's a single cutter head, isn't it? You can't... There aren't different size cutter heads. But he's definitely having issues with being able to grab yeah. the bigger trees. Unusual. Right, DJ Bob, has, uh, he's gone to his truck and his loader. He's going to start getting some logs loaded up. I think he's sort of taken on some of that advice and learnt from the previous matches and he's going to try and get everything loaded up and then see if he's got time to cut some more. Yeah, I think we might just about be seeing Keg do the same. It looks like he's... Is he going for one more tree, or is he going to... I think he is going for one more tree before he uh, brings his truck over. All right, so DJ Bob is rocking the uh, Volvo wheel loader with the grapple. Let's see how he goes picking up his first lot of logs. He's got a lot there in front of him. How many of those can he pinch in there? Not bad. Uh, lost a couple there at the end, but it's not a bad load to start off with. Particularly considering we're not even halfway through, we're just coming up on the five minute mark and he's already going to have some logs in there. That's going to make things a little bit hard though. One did drop out the bottom and he's now going to have to negotiate that, navigate his way around that, but uh, not too bad. Fell off on an angle. So interestingly, Methy Boy's going to have some fun as well, grabbing these out of the, uh, out of the trees. Where if the guys have pulled their logs out into the open, Methys are all lying where he cut them, so that mm. could cause him a little bit of challenge. Yeah, no, DJ Bob's... He, uh, with his truck. he lost one log as it fell on the ground and it's actually got stuck across his front wheel. Going to be able to get that off? He does. Here we go. There's a certain amount Egg of... here going for another tree, Arx. Okay. So he's feeling confident that he can get things into that high lift very quickly yeah well we're down to four and a half minutes to go 
Um, I think there needs to be a bit of decorum when you come to trying to pick up too many logs. I think too many can actually be a bad thing. Especially if you don't get them in the grapple where they're in the centre as we are just watching DJ Bob having them very offset. He does have them picked up, but can he get that over the back of the truck and in or not? That's right, Arx, yeah. Like they splay at the bottom there, don't they? They open yeah. up like a like a flower and then the problem there is that you, know, you get caught on the spikes on the trailer and things like that and they... Mm. yeah. Yeah, he's really struggling to get those over the top of the trailer. He's done. I tell you no, what, he's, he's done, done pretty well. He's done a lovely well. job there, though. Yeah. Wow. Just by pivoting the head wow, and wow, tipping wow, that wow. down, he managed to manipulate them in well. I think he's just very much put himself in the driving seat here for mm. winning this round, with Keg not even picking any logs up yet. No, and Matthew Boy's um, actually done well to get his first lot out of there using the high lift. But he's got some very short logs. Kegarino's having... He's, a, a few here. technical issues there, opening up the uh, open up the grab, but he's good now. Hmm. So three and a half minutes to go. DJ Bob's leaving. DJ Bob's off. He's like, I've got logged. Yeah, I've loaded. I'm off. I think that that second load really. Well, he's actually got rid of all the logs he cut down as well. He does. So, oh no, he's got a few stragglers here, but he yeah, in, in general, he's got he rid does. of everything. So right. this is going to be interesting because remember, if you finish within the 10 minute time, there's no reward for turning up two minutes early. No, there's not. Um, so Keg can finish. If Keg can finish right on 10 minutes with more logs, he could still win this. And he has just picked up a monumental load. Oh, wow, I can His see that in the distance. entire load <laughs> has picked up in one go. So if he can load up a couple of these in the next minute, just got to watch his time. Now, I know impressive. the way... Keg is pretty scientific with the way he approaches stuff, so I'm pretty sure he will be thinking about time the whole the whole way through this. So we've got 2 minutes, 16 seconds left. He's left this pretty tight, actually, Argus, hasn't he? He has, but that's an impressive load. And the way he was stacking his logs, he was kind of breaking them up into different piles to be able to do that grapple like that. Yeah. Um, I did notice you uh, might have seen looking at Methy Boy as well, Ogs. Methy he's, Boy, he's that high well. lift coming into its own there. Yeah, yeah, he's being able to pull out it's a lot, good amount of logs. Um, you might have noticed the collectible pop up in there. There was a horse in the middle of the road, which I saw DJ Bob drive over, and it sort of bucked his truck up. So we've, we've collected that collectible into ourselves a thousand bucks, and that's now not going to cause a problem for anyone else. Nice. Collectibles right. with collisions. Methy. One last log from Methy going in here. And he's gone right over the truck and over to the other side, but he's gonna get out of here anyway. Now is that that log's going with him, whether he liked it or not? Okay, Methy's out of here as well, Args. I'll leave right. you with the. Uh, yeah, I'll keep here keg. and watch Keg. He's just struggling to get this pile of logs picked up. If he can get this, he's he's running out of time, but he needs to get this done in the next ten seconds and on the back of the truck. All right, there we go. He's managed to grab it. Now, how quickly can he go and put it in the back of the truck and? How much value is there in that load? It's a pretty impressive pile. So Methy left with uh, a minute 13 on the clock, Args. So um, it's going to be interesting to see if he's a even able to get to the sell point in time, and that will tell us if Keg has got time. But hmm. I don't think he's going to. No, well, we're down to 40 seconds, and Keggs is just getting his logs unloaded. Now... Unfortunately, oh, he's managed to keep all but one in the truck. That's fine. I was going to say the l amount he grabbed almost seemed too high, and he's he's going for more. Keggs is going for more. He's like to kick with the timer. I'm going to try and get as much money as I can. Um, I don't think it's interesting worth it. because if he's got massively more than the other guys, and although the penalties are high, he could still sneak this. Yeah, I just I don't he's think he's gonna he have will. to leave pretty soon. Yeah, Methy's he's... crossing the line with a second to spare. There we go. He, and he just perfectly. went under by one second. Yeah. All right. Well, Keggs, is, he's only got about four more logs, um, which I really don't think would be worth the extra value. But he's got them on there nice and quick. Seeing he's out of his loader, he'll be running to his truck. You know, straight a minute and 15 and seconds he needs, Arcs. A minute and 15 seconds. So he's he is close to running out of time. He's got fact, one I log. He might have. He's got one log hanging really low off the back, which I knew it. It's clipped the train crossing, and he's on his side. Oh, no. 
Kikarino. Oh no. Those four logs no, he went no, for. No. The extra logs on the back has actually caused him more heartache than uh than bonus. Wasn't worth it. Gonna try and write things, but he's he's gonna run completely out of time it's a for fine this. Fine line, isn't it? It is, it is. It's that gamble and risk and uh we see some of the players think it's worth it and dare I say more times than not it has not been worth the hassle nope nope I haven't you don't like to say you're on the side of caution but um no we want to yeah. see them pushing the limits but I don't think we've seen a match be won by someone taking those extra two or three logs at the end no no I think you're right. The, uh, right the the numbers don't uh, trucks back on its wheels but he does but he only have himself. 40 seconds he it's could, not enough. It was a minute, and, a minute and fifteen. From he could here. potentially sneak through the back to the cell point, but um, I, I can see the wheel tracks that Methy Boy used in the first match going into the back of the cell point would be the only way he will make it. He's got caught out on DJ on Bob's bumped. logs. But no, with ten seconds left, it is. Game over for Kegs, unfortunately. It's game over for Kegs, which is a shame because actually I would have liked to see the size of that load mm. compared to the other stuff. If he if he hadn't rolled it, whether I've... or not that time difference would have uh, brought him into the mix. That's right. Yeah. And he's got caught out on the Put road as well. There. Mailbox is at the side of the road. That, uh, that log at the back is really causing him some grief. That right. Of course, I was going to the wrong cell point as well. I was thinking they were going to the close one. Yes, yes, My they're apologies. on the far away one. They're so. further away. Mm. But yeah, it definitely was a time issue. And there we go. He's over the two minutes. Um, so we will be waiting for the results. Uh, so uh, Hamish just confirming that the Komatsu that Methy Boy was using does have a smaller head on it's that it was the base game one not the pre uh, the premium expansion one right so he was at a slight disadvantage there but with keg and keg's dnf um he's actually earned himself a placing here so uh scores are up arcs if you want to do the honors yeah sure can do so we had uh bob crossing the line with a minute 24 to spare managed to sell eighteen thousand dollars of logs 18,261 and of course no penalty there methy boy coming across with uh was it one second over the time limit there just, just one second just one over, second over. Yeah, so yeah. he's in, occurred a 139 dollar penalty which hasn't had any bearings on the uh on the result he sold 14,465 dollars worth of logs uh to get second place and of course unfortunately kikarino they're not getting across the finish line in the time frame uh, with those issues with the truck so now, first place, wouldn't have that been interesting, Ox, if Methy had just loaded, had an extra couple of logs on, that would have been a close round. It would have been, yeah, yeah. absolutely. So um, he did well to, to salvage second out of that, considering the issues he had. Uh, Kikarino's carried on, yeah. and I think he just wants to know for peace of mind where he might have stood in this one. What his numbers are, what so numbers that he can are. plan for the next round. That's I right. know he'll come back bigger and stronger. I've... I've just so, jumped farms to right. see if I can see what the profit was. No, I missed it. Missed it popping up. Uh, we are going to very quickly jump servers now, aren't we, Ogs? So um, yeah, we we'll are. still chat to you while we do that. Yep. Put your, um, put your pretty face up on screen in a bigger version. <laughs> Let's not scare the people off, Ogs. It's the farm some guy, everyone. One and only. Thrustmaster so Ambassador. G Portal Partner. Gold farm some farming simulator. <laughs> Partner. Oh, stop. <laughs> <laughs> Making me blush. Uh, um, what do you think after those four rounds then? That was... Um, that it's, was I'm, really I'm loving being on a new map, to be honest. That's, that's sort of been yep. the best part is the new challenges of the map. Um, and the just, yeah, just watching how the players all react to it. Yeah, no, it's been good, hasn't it? Mm. Um, really enjoyable. Uh, Paul Wright, welcome to the stream. Good morning from Australia. Hello, Paul. Good to have you here, buddy. So uh, coming up now, we have got uh, another team round, one team round, and then two more uh, solo rounds. Hmm. So we're going to go back to the first round that we'd played um, right at the start. We're going to go and reuse that uh, that uh, point again. Um, mm -hmm. So 
So it's Pinnacle Loggers coming up hoodie. against Logmeisters. So Kigarino gaming with James and uh, Not Sharp Farmer. I'm assuming Methy Boy is going to sub in for them again. Coming up against Tobias, Schiffelmeister and Faban. So it'll be interesting actually. No, they, they were full team. It was something missing from Modern Logging we had. And uh, um, Keg, an opportunity to redeem himself yes. straight away. Yes, I'm sure he will be looking forward to that opportunity. And then we've got uh, a couple of solo matches to finish things off, which is Faban versus Modern Logging versus Farming Alex, and then Coelho versus Methy Boy versus Farming Alex. So That's right. Let's so, see how that all goes. We are in. Mark Haythorn, the way he's calling, ready already. Goodness, I'm not ready, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, one more thing to do, which is to log in as admin. So modern logging here, just... Um, oh, hang on a minute, that is wrong. I'm in the wrong place. That is a... There we go. I'm going to try and find where I'm supposed to be now. Uh -huh. That was definitely a solo round sitting there then. So over here. Where are we? Where are we hitting? Where is everybody? <laughs> They're under starter's orders and the commentators aren't there. Uh, no, that... that's not it either. No, down, down by the trees, far end, <laughs> where we had the first of the solo matches. Right. Uh, of course, I got teleport. Isn't it great when the broadcasters aren't there in time for the uh, event? <laughs> we can confirm a, a match has been match has been played, and there were two teams Wild. involved. Right. We have. I, have I managed to find us the right spot? Right. No, that's a solo one. No, it isn't. I'm in the right spot. This is Kigarino, Jimmy. Barn and Tobias are here. We have found them FSG. I am here. Ready to go. There we go. Now you can see. Oh, hang on a minute. I, I, I definitely don't know where I am. Um, Where is everybody? Down below. Oh, okay, in the no, trees. Right. Logging. Okay. I can teleport now because I'm on a farm. Right. <laughs> uh, yes, found us. What a shambles. Oh. Right. <laughs> can I introduce you Let's again as uh, Thrustmaster Ambassador, G Portal Partner, Let's get on Gold, with it. <laughs> Gold Giants Partner, and Lost? Yes. Right. MRV Dog, thank you for the reminder for me to switch back to the gameplay screen as well. I appreciate that. <laughs> right. Uh, oh, dear. Lost in the woods. Right, indeed. You can make a movie about that. Remember how we started yeah. off in No Man's Land? How serious right, there? Yeah. Calling out to each other in the dark. All right. <laughs> We're underway. It's come a long way since then, Args. We have teams are battling. Kikarino and Jimmy Sim for the Pinnacle Loggers up against Tobias and Faban. Right, Keg straight <laughs> in and cutting straight away. And biggers can't Faban be choosers, Scooter. Scooter. Scooter's saying I need to get better help. Yeah, I know. I'm going to open it up. Grab open guest, up. guest uh, commentators, guest commentators. We, did, we did actually talk about that last season, didn't we? It never worked out to bring anyone in to help us, but... Look. We did. We, uh, I know somebody who's very keen, a certain uh, certain community coordinator from yes. the US would love to jump in and give his hand at some point. Indeed. Right, I can see the trucks barreling down the road here. Uh, Tobias has certainly taken a bit of space there, but that should leave... Enough of a spot for Methy Boy to squeeze past. He looks like he must be the second of the two trucks. Yes, he is. Shuffle must have yep. just come into view. Oh, we got Math go. Matthias actually helping out. At least that is Methy Boy. Probably is. Schiff is doing the right thing and turning around here, Args. Tobias already waiting with logs, but Schiffelbeister has decided to make sure they're pointing in the right direction. That's a uh, lesson learnt from last round. I think so, yes. Yeah. So Matthias is trying to do the same as well. Not as much space to do it on this map, this uh, part of the world. 
And look at the pile of logs Jimmy's already got waiting to drop onto the truck. Mm. So that's a pretty decent load straight off the bat. And this is the difference we're seeing with uh, the solos versus teams is, you know, you can just start loading straight away. Yeah. Just hoping they can yeah, get themselves turned stuck. around. Yeah, Kikarino's sort of boxed them in a little bit with those logs behind, but let's see it. Jimmy hopefully get those logs into the back of the truck and then they can turn around and face the right direction. Pull forward, yeah. There's enough space here okay. to pull forward and turn It's a tidy, around, tidy bit. first upload there from Jimmy. Nicely loaded there. Don't go backwards, Matthias. Oh. <laughs> there he goes. And over here, the boys are getting on quite nicely. Just a couple of logs at a time. That grab doesn't allow you to uh, do many more than that. But Tobias, of all people, is pretty deft with handling that machine. So hmm. uh, no issues here. Hmm. I think Matthias is just waiting for these logs to be moved by Jimmy to be able to back around and get into a better spot. But... Plenty of time for them. We're only uh, two minutes and fifty seconds into the match. Definitely worth doing while you can. Is getting turned around and facing the right direction. Yep. One less task to do when the time pressure really starts to bite. Uh, things are a bit tight here. Tobias is right up against the truck, and uh, it's causing him a few, just a few issues in terms of getting loaded. But he's just manoeuvred himself into a better position which I think has helped him. Yes, I'm seeing the same down this end actually with Kikarino, Jimmy, Sam and Matthias are all in very very close proximity to each other. Oh. Matthias has, she hasn't chosen to turn around, he's left the truck well presented to where Jimmy's loading from so he's decided let's keep it easy for the uh, loading to do their job and we'll worry about the turning While around. While they can, yeah. yeah. Kigarino Jimmy's taking his time to load that but he's getting that nice and neat isn't he that pile he is, he is. yeah he's pretty handy with this uh, with this front loader once again I think we're seeing a different length of log being cut too are we just trying to sort of look across agree, the background yeah. hmm. much longer from the guys over there so I'm just going to Scoot over here and have a look at Schiffermeister's handiwork as he's loading. The barn sort of working their way along the front, not going deep into the forest. They're sort of just going along the road front and cutting trees as yep. they go. I suppose you, you could save yourself 10 seconds by slowly doing this and working your way along, couldn't you? 10 seconds closer to the cell point. Yeah, every, every time, yeah. Yeah. No shortage of trees. is now turning the truck cogs. Well, okay. Jimmy's picking up the next load, so uh, yeah, right. well, that we're was definitely their intention. Yeah, we're coming up on halfway, just on five minutes gone, five minutes to go. Um, I think we're going to have another situation here, and we've seen it already with the teams, where they fill the truck up before the time is up. Um, cause Tobias yeah. is running out of space very quickly. They could always shorten, cut some shorter logs and stack them in that back of the truck, but may not be worth it. That's right. Well-oiled machine, though. No, the, impressively. To bar Tobias and Faban are sort of in sync as they go along the road. Schiffelmeister's just driving along. It's a, a very well organised uh, system they have going at the moment. Yeah. Another impressive uh, load going in from Jimmy here. He's really doing well. And obviously, he had a bit of a nightmare in the solo. So to come back and not really be phased and be loading this truck as well as he is, it's very impressive. Hmm. And Matthias is still not turned round. He's kind of half turned round. Oh, he's now. Yeah, he's just been sorted. casually picking uh, picking the time to unload uh, to to turn round so uh, he's not impacting Jimmy in the loading. All right, that's clever. All right, we're starting to see Tobias running out of space on the top of the truck. Logs are not sitting in the bunk quite as comfortably as they were before, but I think he's still got space for a few. To go, coming up on well, just under four minutes remaining. Plenty of time. I don't think we're going to see either of these teams run out of time. No. It will just come down to oh, like, oh. Go. I can see it happening. Oh, Jimmy's just... He just clipped the top of the bars and it's caused all manner of problems. Scrape those two logs out of the way though, which is very clever. So he should be able to resolve that, hopefully. 
He's not going to wait, though. He's going to go for another big pile rather than trying to pick up individual logs, which is clever. Yeah. I think we're seeing it. Tobias is just having a few difficulties. He's trying to be really cautious with these next logs because he's sitting right up on top of the truck. Let's see if he gets those in there. Not playing this ball. This is the challenge with um, longer logs, isn't it? You don't have that luxury of being able to uh, put two stacks on. That's right. Here we go. Three minute warning. But I'm, not, I'm still not sure if the um, which is the best route. So yeah, interesting. And just just quietly, FSG, were these guys listening to the broadcast? Because my comment before about cutting some short logs and putting them on the back is exactly and what Fabian do you know? has done. Yeah. <laughs> hey, fair play to them. Yeah, and look at that no pickup. Rules to say you can't watch the stream. No, oh, I'd be impressed if no, he was watching the stream. Maneuver those under, tuck them underneath there. Is it going to work? You're going to have to turn the straps off. Turn the straps off. Str Why are we coaching them? <laughs> I don't know. Can they strap them on and hold it in there, or will it grab the grapple? Look, you're he, right. He has unstrapped them. Yeah, so he should be able to drop them and get out of the way. Oh, look at that. Back the truck up. Oh. Magic. Look at that. I think right. we've just seen a winning move there, Rox. That's, uh, that's impressive. What is also equally that's impressive, good. I reckon we could be beating, beating Modern Logging's $40,000 haul on the first match today with these two. Power Team Esports, but, but yes. Ah, Power Team Esports, sorry. Yes. But I tell you what, I've just come back over here, Rox. There is a mighty load up here as well. Mm, I was following you down, and that is impressive. Let's see and what's Jimmy's happening. about to put another full stack on here. So uh, they need to watch their time, though. A minute and a half left, and I reckon it is best part of a minute and a half to get. Yep, Shufflemeister's leaving. Shufflemeister's out. Right, this is going to go down to who's got the most logs, and it is going to be close. With Disco dancing on the back close. of the track here. Yeah, same with Matthias here, but they are maybe 10 seconds behind them, if that. And that might just be that position on the road, just having a little advantage being closer to the cell point. And we are going right. to the first cell point. One minute warning popping up. I'm pretty confident both teams are going to make it, barring any catastrophes with the truck driving. But so this just, will go down to who's got the most on the truck. Absolutely. And that is it. Absolutely. Schiffelmeister's just Physics. approaching the turn in. He's slowing down. He's gone for the corner cut. He has gone for the corner oh, cut and he's squeezing past a tree. He has managed to power his way through there, but that was a high risk maneuver considering they were well within the time limits. Yeah. So we're seeing more and of the those. Matthias going for the standard turn here. He's not worried damage. about time particularly. No, so Schiffelmeister he heading through the bales with 24 seconds left on the clock. Matthias has clipped the fence, so he's just going to have to be careful here. And again, he's caught the fence slightly. Uh, I'm going to cut it. Uh, hopefully, this doesn't pull him back and give him a penalty, but I don't Ten think seconds. this is going to be close. He cannot afford to make a single mistake Four, here. Three, two, three, two, one. One. Oh, uh, that fence hit has slowed them down by three, three seconds. seconds. Three seconds on the timer. That was pretty well managed by both teams, barring those mistakes. And. Uh, I just want to have a look at these loads of logs before they sell them because that is, that's pretty impressive. That was a, an astoundingly neat, tidy load, that isn't it? It is, it is. Uh, Strody saying physics engine's not liking this. Haha. <laughs> I don't actually think it's the physics on this one, Strody. I just think it's lag on the server that's, it, uh, it can't keep up with the position of the logs. Yeah. I've, uh, I've decided that's actually screenshot worthy, those well, two logs see. and loads. Loads of logs. That's let's impressive. see what we've got here. Very impressive. I mean, that's professional, that, isn't it? It is. It is. That's, less, um, so, less so with the little ones at the back, but certainly the, that first stack is really impressive. Oh, just the... But at least the uh, the game sense to be able to go, we've got time, let's cut some shorter lo logs, because whether it was an yeah. on-the-fly decision or one that they'd pre-prepared, it was um. But it was I in my sharp. chat saying, the first part of our load was good, but I'm disappointed in the back. <laughs> <laughs> Ever the perfectionist. Yeah. Uh, very impressive. So we'll just move that truck out of the way. And, and again, credit where credit's due. Um, to the guys uh, from uh, Pinnacle as well. Really, really nice stack of logs here. 
Oh, I tell you what, and, and for, uh, for Kigarino to come back from sort of the disappointment, I would say, of that last solo match yeah. and going straight into this, I think, you know, they've, uh, they've done themselves proud. And this is going to be they close. Have. This is going to be close. The three the three second penalty is only worth about $300. Yep. So, I, I'm. What, what's your pick? What's your pick before we see the scores, FSG? I'm going to say, even with the penalty, no, no, I can't. I think logmeisters have done it. You think? I'm going the other way. I'm calling it pinnacle loggers. By you think even with the penalty, yep. they've uh, the shorter logs are worth more value wise, aren't the they? So there's going to be fifteen hundred dollars between it at the end, okay. and they're both going to be over forty grand. We're going to see. We're going to be close to fifty thousand dollar loads, I reckon. Okay. Oh, big, big calls <laughs> for marks here. Big calls. Big calls. So well, Jimmy Sim they give me the and big jobs. Keg, who have both had two DNFs tonight, are about to potentially deliver the biggest comeback since Lazarus. <laughs> <laughs> bold claims, yeah, bold claims. We are waiting with bated breath Very much and waiting so. for the little flicker. Do you know this of, is uh, Hamish oh, typing? Hamish is typing. <laughs> This, this is one of those ones that I think could be one of our closest matches. Um, we've had some close finishes on Silver Run Forest when it was all about selling it and it was just a who was first there kind of issue, but yeah. this is kind of the closest one we've had, I think, in the, the Season 2 era Here of Lord of the League. Here we go. Oh, intriguing. All right, you can call it. All right, so Pinnacle Loggers. Crossing with three seconds to spare. Three second penalty. Um, sorry, three second penalty, beg your pardon. Um, 37,263 litres of logs. Uh, with the penalty of 304 uh, litres of logs taken off that, they finished with 36,958 litres. I'm not going to read out who the, the order here, but Logmeisters... Uh, finished 24 seconds within the time scale, but had 35,763 litres. So Oof. sneaking it, by just 1,200 litres are, uh, in fact, no. Pinnacle. Yeah, Pinnacle Logging won. 2,000 litres. Um, pinnacle Loggers have won it with mm. the penalty. So. Mm. You called it, Ox. You called yeah, it. Yeah, it's it is it's not as much as I thought. I, they still haven't beaten uh, Power Team Esports Log Hall, but yeah, there's twelve hundred. There is only wow. twelve hundred thirty-five seven versus thirty-six nine. It is a twelve hundred dollar yeah. difference. Twelve hundred dollars. There yeah. you go. What a match! That was a great match. Yeah, a great match. And I have <laughs> to say, the Logmeisters must be really frustrated for such an optimal such an optimal load to not win that one will be will be frustrating yeah there should be a bonus point for loading tobias is saying in the match <laughs> <laughs> well the, the one the one thing to smile about tobias is you finish within the time so you do get the bonus point whereas the uh pinnacle loggers missed yeah. out on that bonus point by three seconds so keep that in mind when it comes to final scores that 10 points could be the difference yes indeed mm. yes indeed right we're heading straight over to stage one now. Indeed. For so, our next heat. He's Solo heat between Faban, Modern Logging, and Farming Alex. That's right. So we've got two more matches to go, and they are both solos. Uh, as FSG said, this one against Faban, Modern Logging, Farming Alex. And then we've got Coelho, Mithy Boy, and Farming Alex to round out the day. And uh, can I just say, this has been running pretty much like clockwork. It has. It has indeed. Uh, really enjoying this. Really enjoying this. The yeah. guys are ready. We are all ready to go, which is awesome as well. Um, now we've seen this stage used as a team match. Uh, one team went one way, the other went the other, but we're throwing in a third operator into this, so it'll be an interesting watch. And we'll be keeping a close eye on the timing of things, as we've seen with the solos. I think that's becoming quite a critical consideration. Arx has jinxed it now. Internet's about to fail worldwide. <laughs> str str <Thanks>. str <laughs> <laughs> yep. All right, we're underway. Mark has said go, and for barn model logging and farming, Alex are racing into the tree harvesters. And off. Modern logging just 
nudging farming Alex a little bit over to uh, his left there. I think modern logging was wanting to get on the outside there. and uh, give himself a little bit more space. He might not have been too happy about being squeezed in between Alex and Faban, but he's going to have to make do yeah. with that and start getting yes. some trees cut. A little bit more space to navigate around this one too. I don't think we're going to see any obstructions or blockages with trucks and logging equipment being in the way. But That's right. Steady start from all Go three off. players. Yep. Yeah, all got one tree down. Moving on to the second one now. Uh, good to see Yoss repping the AG hat at Pax Arcs. Oh, I um, haven't seen it yet, actually. Thank you, Yoss. Oh, I must be, there must be a DJ Goham vid out or something. Ah, uh, right. I know DJ and Clutch were live for a bit yesterday, but let's yeah. uh, take a look at that. Right, well, everybody I'd... running almost the same here. Faban maybe just a little behind, but I clutch this video. there's nothing in it. Very much a calm before the storm here in these solos because there's so, you know, it's a task following a task following a task. There's not that cold, hold multiple tasks going on at the same time, so. That's right. Identical loading gear as well, Ogs. Identical trucks, or yeah. identical trailers at least. Hmm. Identical uh, loading gear, so this will this will be a battle of... Uh, battle of wits between the guys. It will no be. No advantage on equipment at no. all. no. So it's going to come down to operator skill rather than the benefit of being able to pick up more logs because of a grab or grapple or anything like that. Mark well, Hathorns, what he says, I'm going to have to start paying people to wear my hat. I am, aren't <laughs> I? I'm going to have to start sponsoring people. <laughs> <laughs> Shouldn't have taken so long getting them done. I know, right? Yeah. All right. Where are we? One log we uh, started with a very neat pile, and now it's gone a little bit uh, sparkly. Yeah, I mean, it's the same old adage, isn't it? The the grapple allows you to be a little bit more um, reckless with the way you stack your locks. So That's right, because you're just plucking something. one or two off the yeah. top every time, yeah. yeah. Still, still, the neat pile would make it easier, I imagine, but yeah. um, I'm just watching. I mean, we've, we're three minutes in, just coming up on three minutes in, and Alex is actually going to go and jump into a truck. By the looks of things, and uh, start getting things well, loaded. Interesting. Modern logging, modern logging, and Alex have gone for long logs, and um, Faban over here has gone for the slightly shorter ones again. So hmm. the jury's still out on what the best route is, isn't it? Hmm. Absolutely. Farming Alex is uh, positioning his truck facing out, so he actually took the time to drive forward and reverse up rather than just getting in beside. It'll be interesting to see how he gets to where he needs to load because he's actually going to have to go behind the other two trucks. He's just, is he making that realisation or is he going to be a bit reckless? No, he's, he's going... doing the, he was doing the good moral thing here, Args, and moving that one log mm. that was blocking the, the trucks. Say that now. Being a good citizen. Let's see, let's see where Alex. it goes with that. If he was a really good citizen, uh, no, actually, if he was very cunning, he could drop that log in behind the cabs on those two trucks and lock them both in together. <laughs> He's going to just climb up and over his logs. Yeah. Uh, I wonder if that's any quicker than driving around the back. Because, oh, I'm not uh, sure. It's taken him a while, isn't it? It has. He's going to just going to plonk himself in there in the middle and start loading from there. Modern logging's having to back out to get in the right spot for Barnes coming over to grab his way pink here. beauty. I've had a freeze on my game. I'm not sure what yours is like. Arcs, no, I'm but... good. Everybody has stopped at the moment. No, we're buttery smooth, but for oh, we go. Oh, for oh. was trying to sneak behind modern logging. Modern logging was backing up. And it's just caused him to have to reset just a little bit. There was a honk of the horn there. I don't know whether that was a friendly watch out on coming or uh, don't you do that kind of honk, but. Or a get out of the way. Get out of the honk, yeah. Right. So just coming up on five minutes, halfway through, and uh, no one's really got an advantage yet. Alex was the first to start loading, but he hasn't actually managed to get anything onto the back of the truck yet. He's sort of struggling with these log, long logs. Let's see who is going to manage to drop the first one in the back of the truck. It is going to be Alex by the looks of things, for Barn not far behind. Modern logging is going to go and place himself in a perfect position in between. 
Get things spinning. It's, uh, this one's on a knife edge at the moment, if you stew. It's close, isn't it? Yeah. It's close. Um, Alex, just a couple of logs on. Modern logging, getting his first log on for Ban. A couple more in his grapple there. So uh, we'll just have to wait and see what happens here. Hmm, I did just see Alex manage to flip his trailer, or flick his trailer away a little bit because of uh, a log being stuck underneath it. Whether that's going to hinder his reach with that grapple or not, I'm not sure. And actually now looking at this, Ox, um, Alex doesn't have that many logs. When you compare it to what the other guys have got, he doesn't seem to have that big a pile of logs. No. Modern logging, I think, by far the most. Um... But with just four minutes left, I don't think he's going to get all of these on the truck and get down to the cell point. We've got a ghost in the server. Modern logging's tree harvest is twisting around on its own. So it is. <laughs> what is going on there? So, that looks a good pickup load there from Alex. Nicely balanced. And Bob's saying uh, the grapples are harder with the twelve foot, uh, twelve with the twelve meter trees. I'm inclined to agree. Yeah. Unless you pick them up dead center, it does throw up a few issues, doesn't it? Yeah, you get a couple when sort of one's off center and the other's not, and it's unbalanced and unweight and correctly weighted. So we're coming up on three minutes to go. We know it's about a minute and a half to drive from here to the cell points. Uh, Farming Alex has the advantage facing directly out. Modern logging's sort of twisted round. Quite well. Uh, for Barnes, actually, got probably the most work to do with his truck. So, Once I also again, think Alex has probably got the advantage in the number of logs he has on his trailer, but it is close between modern logging and Alex. Alex must be getting short on logs to load, is he? I can't see from where I am. He didn't cut um, as many. He's got, he's got enough. If he can get all of these on, um, he actually has judged it pretty well, to be honest. Hmm. That's that whole thing about cutting he's, in the right time, isn't it? Stopping yeah, you cutting and like starting you loaded. He's just dropped them though, so he is it's on a sticky wicket here with 225 to go. I reckon they've got a, a minimum or a maximum of a minute of loading left mm, before agreed. they need to get out. Now, Modern, I think, may have just taken the lead with Alex dropping that last load. I think Modern Log has uh, just got another. more logs on his trailer now. Barnes, so, for Barnes jumped in his truck, he's strapped down. I think he's going to put pressure on these guys to make a decision, and he's going with two minutes to spare. Yeah, he's taking... He's taking the opportunity. Now Alex is going to go with a, the most bizarre load, <laughs> which may cause him issues, Args. I think that's going to cause him issues. It will be interesting. Modern logging, we're down to a minute 50. He's going to try and get a couple more logs on. I think he's probably looked at the other loads and gone, I've got time, two more logs will win it for me. Yeah. And he's Alex done those rounds at record have, uh, time. I'm not sure Alex is going to get down the, the narrow pathway with this log sticking out the side of his truck here, Ox. Now, we'll have to make, we haven't had this situation arise. Modern logging's just hopping out and about to start going as well. And uh, not only is his excavator, is his tree processor spinning around, but so is his excavator. <laughs> They're doing a Ox, pirouette. Faban has just barreled straight past farming Alex in a different truck, a faster truck, and has completely taken the lead. But wow. he's hit a tree! He has hit a tree! Alex uh, Alex has got stuck as well. They are both stuck on trees here, Ox. Um, right. I'm not sure. Faban looked like he hit the tree a lot harder and is a little bit more wedged. So Alex has taken the lead again here. Crazy. And Faban still stuck on the truck. Alex is going to cross the finish line just here with 45 seconds left on the clock. Right. Modern Locking's following the other's wheels patterns through the, uh, through the fields. And has okay, also taken Faban. that corner cut. Faban coming in with 31 seconds left on the clock. I'll tell you what, modern logging. If modern logging can get in with the time, he's and he is easily, going to easily going to cross this one. He's won this. He's won this hands down. Those extra I logs, I, way I, more logs. Yeah, Those, that extra time he took there at the end is going to pay dividends for him. I tell you what, though, Ogs, that pink truck, which is what is that? It's a Volvo. Why was that going so much faster than... Uh... It's the twin axle versus the triple axle. I don't know yeah. if that makes a difference. It was... Maybe he just built a bit more momentum up. Possibly. He hadn't slowed down or... 
but uh, he was moving. If he hadn't yeah. clipped the tree, he had already passed Alex and was away. Could be, could be the loads. I mean, sometimes if you've got a log hanging out the edge, it can cause some aerodynamic Oof. drag. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think the game engine's that advanced, but um, it, it can. Aerodynamic drag. <laughs> it, it can be dragging on the ground, and that can definitely slow you down. Strody says we need to do a Stuart's inquiry to check for NOS afterwards. <laughs> Yeah, we know red goes faster, but is pink a near enough derivative of red? I think it might be. Mm, maybe that's the, that's the deal. Alright, so farming Alex is sold and out of the way. Unceremoniously dumping his truck across into the trees for Barn coming through to get his sold. Um, but yeah, another intriguing round. That was a good round, I enjoyed that. Yep. And uh, modern logging really uh, close. Using the sophisticated backing into the cell point method. <laughs> Just that it's one last flex after after loading more logs and yeah. taking longer <laughs> and still crossing before the finish line. He did. He timed his run to perfection. Seventeen seconds on the clock. He uh, probably couldn't have loaded any more. Now remember, they didn't Touch see this well. map or what to do before thirty minutes until thirty minutes before the stream. Mm. So they haven't had the they haven't had the chance to practice. No. One of the reasons we like the idea of switching uh, maps, wasn't it, Args? Yeah, it just adds a adds a new. They could practice on the map. They could get used and familiar to the trees. They could figure out the layout of the map, but they didn't know exactly where these cell points were going to be or where That's their right. where their logging was going to occur. So it's um, yeah. certainly been a little bit dynamic from that point of view. Indeed, indeed. Right. But fantastic round. Enjoyed that. Nice, yeah. nice close one. Really yes, enjoyed that. It is. And uh, well done, guys. Motoring through them. <laughs> right. So Hamish with. Um, the results just coming up now. Mm, I'm just going to go, and in. then we'll move on to our final uh, final round. A having a look at the uh, crop circles, modern locking's just kind of ripped up in the field. There's not much cotton left out here right now. <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> Celebratory donuts. Celebratory donuts. Right, results are in Ogs. They are, and uh, well, 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 well. Where do we start? Farming Alex was first across the line, 44 seconds to spare. He had $14,500 worth of logs, no no penalty points or anything like that. Uh, for Barn coming through second on the timing screen, 33 seconds remaining, and he sold $1,300 more than Farming Alex, so 15800 But a clear and decisive victory from Modern Logging, 17 seconds left on the clock. Just shy of twenty-seven thousand dollars worth of logs, so twelve grand or so ahead of Faban, eleven thousand ahead of Faban. That is a um, good load, isn't it? It is a good load, and and you know, fair credit to him, he probably didn't actually need to take those couple of extra logs right at the end, but he timed his run perfectly. No time left out there. He couldn't have cut any more logs. He couldn't have loaded any more logs, and he's come through with a clear victory. So, uh, very close, an uh, interesting, exciting round, and uh, just what we want to see. Fantastic. Brilliantly done. Mm. Yeah. Mm, so congratulations. Excellent Modern round. Logging. Well played. Indeed. Which takes us on to our very final match of round two. It does indeed. And we are over here. And Farming Alex, Cuello and Methy Boy already in position here. Excellent. Ready to go. And has Methy stuck with that? Uh, he has not. Methy has switched. So may not have those issues mm. that we had in the other round. Right, so we'll just wait for everything to get organised here. Yep. Right. All good to go. Right, this is going to be another interesting one. A bit more variance in the equipment this time around. I mean, Alex does have that smaller processor, doesn't he? And I think we might just be seeing that being changed out. <laughs> seeing a delivery cost ah, there right, for a new, different Komatsu loader coming across. Yeah, you're right. This is getting moved. And I'm assuming... No, he's still going for the base game one, though, Args. Yeah, I'm not sure. Not, not familiar the, with the uh, difference, but it is... Apparently the header, the 
the uh, the cutter head is will only take a smaller diameter yeah. lock. I was I was actually going to take Which a look at it for forestry machines. So we've got the nine three one XC and then the nine one one five five one. Which is a 65 centimeter max, whereas the 951 is a 70 centimeter max. And there's two of them in the Platinum expansion. And then there's the one right at the start, which is actually the biggest, a 71 centimeter. So the base game one's actually okay. the biggest, but it's uh, just looking at the comparison. It's a four wheel or eight wheel version, whereas the others are three, three or tracked. So a little bit of a difference. I'm always intrigued because I'm pretty sure the Rotney harvester takes up to 80 centimeters, and I'm surprised it's not used more. That's right, it's yeah, I mean, it's very, very rarely seen, isn't it? Hmm. I think Kigarino made the comment last uh, round with it being a harder arm to operate or something, least manipulation right. or okay. something like that, but definitely the bigger of the three all processing units. Anyhow, yeah. start as orders, we are all ready to go, set and uh, going to get underway with the final match of the round. Yes, indeed. Right, ready, steady, we go. The mark has called it. Coelho is stationary. He hasn't moved. Or am I getting a glitch? Yeah, no, nope, there he goes. That. He's, He's moving now. He was daydreaming. He was. Doesn't even know where he's hitting his run over. <laughs> oh, he's, oh, he's been crushed under the wheels of one of his competitors. <laughs> We're down to two. <laughs> oh, no, he's all right. It's just a flesh wound. Just a, nothing a Band-Aid wouldn't now, fix. Matthew's gone over here and given himself a, a nice bit of space with a little bit of open space to work with as well. Mm. Not a bad call. That's right. Coelho's not actually, he's going cool. a, he's going a long way as well. And uh, not ideal with that track machine because it does take no, some, it slow some that, time for the Hannibal to get anywhere. But I wonder if he's targeting these different trees down here. Quite sure. Possibly. Methy first tree down and cut before Coelho's even made it to a tree yet. But... Mm. Oh, interesting. Coelho's getting in his truck. He's positioning all his equipment. Interesting indeed. And the one thing... Oh, no, he's having some lag issues because oh, he's just gone straight on into farming Alex's. I think there might be a lag issue there because he's he just barreled straight on into uh, a tree. And farming Alex's logs that were neatly stacked there have just taken a hit, <laughs> hit for six. I'm sure no malice intended there, it is again. No. I jinxed it, as Charity said. Yeah, we do have a wide entrance here, so even those across the road, there is plenty of room for the guys to get past without slowing them down. So. Oh, Coelho's left. Uh, Coelho's gone, yeah, we thought he was having some lag issues right. there. Get a pause here so on this one. Let's pause quickly. I'm sure Hamish will be in the chat telling the guys just to put the brakes on for a second whilst we give them the chance to... Uh, get back in of course i'm sure they they see the same information on screen as we do so uh I'm sure with the camaraderie that does happen in amongst the teams and competitors they will pause themselves yeah well they're very good at stopping yeah so uh and the one thing we haven't seen yet fsg which i'm kind of a little bit surprised at is no one's tried to process a tree straight into the back of the truck you are right actually Arx, yeah <clears> um <throat> We, they That's couldn't. A fair point. They couldn't really do it in season one because the container would take the full tree, and then you're not getting the optimum length cut to go into the container, and there'd be a disadvantage yeah. there in your price. But there's no reason, with no auto load or any function here on these trailers, that we couldn't see that happening in. Uh, that is a very good current, point. Within the very current good. rules. So. There we go. We're giving away all Coelho the ideas for the teams. I know, right? Just yeah. yeah. Who's listening? <laughs> We should start a team, Args. We should. No, I've seen your loading. You'd have to. No, I've seen your driving. <laughs> I was going to say you could be the truck driver, but I've seen your driving too. Wow. <laughs> you hear that, people? Savage from Args. Yeah. I did have to chuckle at your uh, at your little Twitter post that Thrustmaster put up announcing you as an ambassador for them about being a pro. Yeah, I, I didn't tell them to say that. I think they're, they're, <laughs> misread they've misread me somewhat <laughs> <laughs> pro uh, at what crashing at what? stuff uh, oh, yeah you gotta be a pro at something but take the chance as well while we are just here to say uh, thank you to thrustmaster for their support again for season number two great to have Absolutely, them on board yeah. and uh 
bringing some prizes through for us. But we're back underway. Coelho's back in and uh, all the players are back moving. We are indeed. Yeah, Matthew Boy started to cut again. Some lovely neat piles here. And uh, he's got the high lift as well. So he's going to be at an advantage with these neat piles when he, mm. uh, when he uses the high lift to pick them up. Yep. Well, that's Coelho with his first tree. I love the fact that Hannibal can just maneuver a tree. It just hangs the mass right. around. Yeah. Coelho's and listening. Arg, FSG, he arg. was listening. <laughs> <laughs> what did you just say? Oh, goodness. I think know, he was already planning that before you said that. I you think know, so. I think that was his intention all along. I think so, too. Um, Peter Sullivan had just commented in chat. He said, with the Impex, I have loaded straight into the trailer. So... Yeah, and I think he was thinking the same. Yeah. Of all of, of all of the tools, it is the one to, that would work, isn't it? Yeah. Yep. No, hundred percent. You can maneuver your tree into the perfect position before you uh, yep. drop it. Absolutely. Oh, interesting, Coelho. All that, all that moving about at the start when others were cutting trees is now he's going to bring that back. And he's actually really quite deft with the how he handles this. Yeah, no, he's, he's so, got a uh, very nice control and nice touch around it. Yeah, look at that. Farming Alex is, uh, he's getting squashed by a tree, so we're seeing a lot of injuries occurring. Oh, Coelho's spun oh, around no, and no, knocked no, his no, trailer no. over. Oh. All that good work. I'm, oh. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take a guess yes. here and say that might have been a network lag issue because he did seem to be struggling. But let's see if he can get this right. And he's got yeah, plenty again. of time. I think he's gone. Again, he's, look, he's yeah. kept going. I think his lag's back as well. Yeah, he's struggling what with lag big time, which is a shame because I would have loved to have seen that. Yeah. Let's see. But he will flip this truck very quickly here with no issues, I don't think. I would have thought so. Let's just see what he's going to do. He's going to strap. Oh, he uh, strapped he's, his logs too close. It's too close. I think you'll be all right, Coelho. I think you'll be all right. Just get that log in there and hmm, I would have used the log it. and tried to lift that up. But. Let's see. Uh, interestingly, as we focus there on Coelho and his dramas, farming Alex has gone and uh, grabbed his truck and he's starting to put some trees and logs into it as well. See that? Modern okay. logging over oh, here that. has got, Coelho's got his the truck. neatest okay. of piles. Has he? Did he flip yep. it with the tray? Yeah, he used, used the tree. Yeah, used the Yeah, yep. just managed to catch that out of the corner of my eye. It was just bad luck that he, he spun that around, like you say, probably a little bit lag-induced. Yeah. No, the only problem is this tree is now not in the optimal angle that no, you would that's want right. and to the get into the trailer. Yeah, the trailer's out, lost alignment a little bit too with that tip. And he's what a shame. probably what a shame. pinching a little bit on farming Alex's space as well. And there we are, halfway through. We're on the five-minute warning from Armour Hamish. Matthew Boy just coming to get his truck now. He's got a lot of logs. If he can get them in there with this high lift, he is going to be in a pretty good position, to be honest, Args. Hmm. All right, let's see Koala if he can manipulate this in. He's already cutting that log. Is it going to drop in? Is it going to roll which oh. side of it? That's all right. It's in. Oh, the second. That's almost the first one has helped the second one uh, fall into place, actually. It has. So he could just give that little tap when he's got the other ones in. It'll be good. Let's see if he tries that or whether he's just going to. No, it looks like he's just going for another tree. Uh. Throw caution to the wind. See what he can do. Yeah, I think he's conscious speed now, right? Hmm. Yeah, time is time is counting down. We're down to four minutes remaining. Um Mithy Boys, like you say, he does have some good piles down here and he does have the advantage of the high lift. He's gone for the shorter yeah. logs too. Yeah, he'll load this very quickly, I think, Ox. I think hmm. you'll see him move very up the rankings because he's the last one to start loading his trailer here but i think mm. very quickly you'll see him although he has got them tangled a little bit there but he just right. about got away with it it's something we're definitely seeing is the players using the high lift sort of go for the shorter logs because they can pick up more whereas the players cutting the longer logs are using the grapple because there's less loading yeah. required but there is that difficulty of having to try and get those big awkward lengths um, to the back of the truck which we're just seeing Alex exactly. grapple with, with perfectly the grapple. demonstrated by Alex here mm. yeah that he's just had to kind of ah, and look at it now Carlo's yeah. gone again alright pause again guys let's what a shame what a shame because actually this tactic is a really I clever have, one I would have loved to have seen it I'd love to see how so it a real out. shame that the lag's going to have stopped that isn't it hmm 
Again, though, we've seen the uh, tally handler come into good effect from Power Team Esports tonight. It's uh, something new we yep. haven't seen. And uh, the, uh, was it Modern Logging in the last match? Going with the shorter logs, just mixing up the log sizes right. because of the space they had on the trailer. Now seeing yep. Coelho try that technique of loading directly into the truck. So, guys, as yeah, the uh, season's progressing, we're seeing some real innovation. In ingenious ideas going on here, which mm. I really like. Yeah. Yeah, good stuff. And actually, Farmer Hamish, just while we paused, Farmer Hamish had a message from Coelho asking if he was allowed to cut directly into the tree. And Hamish had confirmed that back to him, so it was always his intention. Nice. All right. All right, let's see if he can get in and, and last for the remaining three minutes. He's not out of this yet, though, is he, Args? In no way, shape, or form. I He's, don't um, think so. I mean, a pile of logs on the tree there. If he can have a stable connection and get a couple more trees done, he could be uh, he could be looking good. He could be, and we're not going too far for the cell point. It's basically back up that road and, and directly across at the uh, animal dealer. It's not a difficult right. difficult route, and that's the same with, uh, with all of these courses today. It hasn't been a difficult route to navigate. But let's see. Looks like he's back okay. in. He's just having a look at his load there. I'm good now. I'm good now. <laughs> Don't he's, say sorry, mate. You're doing a great job. Yeah. Lag is a uh, lag is a pain. He's, he's really kicked is. the rest of the household off Netflix. Yeah. And he's uh, gone around, shouted to the kids, and he's back. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Right. So here we go. Alex working his way through his logs. Oof. Mithy boy's it's just a, put I feel a sorry huge for Alex, stack. Actually. Huge stack. Yeah. Alex, Alex is struggling a little bit with getting his loaded. His his positions are all wrong here for getting the truck loaded and picking things up and that issue, that issue that we've talked about with the longer logs hanging down and not being able to get other trailer arcs is struggling mm. a bit yeah it's it's actually an interesting point you raise because so much of that comes back from almost the first decision you make where do you cut your trees where do you start your pile and it all flows right yeah. through to the loading where you park your truck what loading equipment have you got how do you position that in the best spot to be able to optimize your time from picking up to dropping off so there's yep. some real interesting thought processes that need to go into that but um, although he's nailed it with this three yeah oh look like you say coelho's in no way out of this just because of the fact he was the first to get some logs loaded um and he's just going so fast yeah yeah well he's cutting out a whole a whole cycle of the process right he's he the only yeah. one that's Although it's not elegant to look at, because I think probably because of that, because he flipped the trailer. That's right. If he hadn't right. flipped the trailer, I think it would be a lot neater. But mm. uh, poor Alex is uh, really struggling with his logs yeah, here. Yeah, it's Alex. unfortunate. Mithy boy, on the other hand, he's just gone halfway into the forest and pulled out, I don't know, half the woods of Finland in one go. <laughs> Greta Thunberg it is, is laggy crying yeah. in her sleep at the moment, watching this. There we go, Coelho has got this lined up perfectly. I think with a minute and seven left, oh, he boy. needs to get out of here. Methy Boy took a gamble and just let them go and see what happens, and it, it wasn't pretty. Oh, uh, yeah. He needs to unstrap those logs. He's going to have right. all sorts of issues getting these out of here, too. He's got one hanging out Alex, so far. Alex has gone. Oh, it's thumped it, too. Um, Methy boy's in all Alex, sorts of trouble. Yeah, Alex uh, thrown in the towel and he is away. Coelho's away as well, Arg, so I'm going to follow these guys down. Methy um, boy has an interesting tactic. He was trying to take it through the forest. He was ignoring the road and he was going off road. Oh, but interesting. His load was nowhere near neat enough and he's got logs all over the place. It's just disconnected his trailer. I don't know what his problem is, what he's stuck on, but interesting idea. Just let down a little bit on the execution with his stacking. Well, Alex has got a, 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 a log prone right across the back of his trailer, 90 degrees to the rest of the load. And he's clipping every tree through the woods on the way to the cell point. Oh, this sounds um, about the same as what I'm watching with Methy Boy, except his is... Um, He's not following the road and he's dropping logs. There we go. I think he's got the last troublesome one unhooked. 
So Coelho, who's actually got a log hanging over the side as well, but not as bad, is is fast catching Alex, actually. Yeah, I don't well, think he'll get him before the sell point, but it's going to be close. Mythy Boy's just tried to wrap He's his cab around a tree. So we, I think Coelho's going to win this, Ox. We're into penalty time. We're 35 seconds beyond yep. our limits. Alex and Coelho a second apart going over the finish line. All right, there we go. Um, and I think we could see Mickey visibly. Boy's just coming through now. See visibly how many more logs uh, Coelho has to, uh, to Alex. And here's hmm. Methy. Stopping the clock just under a minute, 59 seconds. Um, Methy Boy's te technique of just cutting out the road and going directly through the forest would have worked if it wasn't for the pesky logs hanging over the edge. Kind of panicked, yep. I think, with his last load and he just let it go and he ended up with logs left, right and centre. Yeah, that looks a nice, neat load now. It does, yeah, if, if you discount the five logs he left sitting in the forest. <laughs> Look at that load, Co Coelho. That's a fantastic amount of logs there. I think he's won this ox. I'm gonna I'm gonna call it now. Yeah. I genuinely do. Oh, well, Methy looks like he's got more logs on, but he did come over the line almost a minute hmm. behind. So penalty is going to be quite big for him. Yeah, I don't Whereas think any of that. None Coelho, of them, none of them finished in time, did they? No, oh, Coelho's only I think about ten seconds. Alex hmm. and Coelho are only ten seconds late. So mm -hmm. this could be another close one. <clears throat> it could be. Of course, a, a full minute is about a what six thousand dollar penalty. Yeah. So you would have to have a sizable amount of logs more than the others. But there we go. Sold. Well done. That is uh, round well, two. Fun. Pending results here for this final match. That's round two. All done and dusted. So. Again, another nice tight round there. I'm enjoying these uh, solo rounds towards the end. They were uh, super tight. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. And uh, the innovation. So Coelho with all of all sorts. Sorry, Ax. I was just going to say the innovation we're seeing coming through and uh, different techniques and tactics as they're developing the rules, learning the rules. Mark Thor's yep, busy picking it. up. Uh, Mark Hathorn's sorry, is busy picking up collectibles. <laughs> yep. Well played. Now, if, if Coelho, um, with all of those issues with the lag, pulls this off, I will be highly impressed. You finished there, mate. Just waiting for Hamish to bring through all oh, the results are up FSG. So they are right. Here we go. So um everybody outside the time limit. So Coelho 42 seconds over with 21,000 litres of logs on his trailer. Methy Boy 59 seconds over with 19,000 litres of log. So that is interesting. Mm. Very close on the log front there. Mm. And farming Alex over 40 seconds over the time limit with just 9,831 litres. So, adjusted for penalties, Coelho has won it. Even after all those issues. Coelho. Yeah. yeah, well done, Coelho. Yeah. Quite a sizable win as well, over over awesome. 3,000 litres uh, to the good. Hmm. So, Methy Boy um, managed so, to uh, peak, squeak through in second, uh, took the bigger penalties, but had quite a good number of logs on the trailer there, so... So, Alex, although we crossed the line first, um, finishing down there in third place. But a great round, that. Enjoyed that. Yeah, sorry, I just had a uh, frog in my throat. <laughs> Voice deciding to give up. Um, yeah, that, no, that was great. And isn't it good to see the innovation come through and uh, seal the deal in the end there for Coelho? Absolutely, definitely. Mm. So, uh, well played, everyone. Everyone tonight, um, all the players, Pinnacle, Power Team, Logmeisters, Modern Logging, and then Faban, Jimmy, Coelho, Keg, Methy Boy, Bob, and Alex. Well done to all of you. Great, uh, great evening's work. Yeah, and uh, yeah, I just wanted to say, obviously, big thanks to Hamish and Mark for uh, organisation in the background. It's, it's I'd say, um, I'm sure you'll agree, FSG, this has probably been the smoothest run event we've had so far. Seven rounds, and we're only it just has. over the two-hour mark. So, um, yes. thank you to for. Hamish and Mark for their efforts there, but also to the players and everyone involved from that side of things, uh, helping it run so smoothly. It's, uh, it's been great. Appreciate your efforts Definitely. and having you here. Very slick. Hmm. Hmm. Very slick That's indeed. Nice. Well, so, uh, on that note, uh, we will be back next month for round three. Yes. Um, 
the dates are up in Discord. And, Let's just uh, have a look if I can confirm when they are. <laughs> And uh, it will be again on another new map. We'll be putting the vote out to uh, the teams and we'll be selecting right. another new map because I think this has worked and added a nice little uh, additional element to it. So uh, that's right. Uh, I think we'll continue to do this. Yes, yes. Yep, I think that is the plan. Um, it's the last weekend of April, I, I believe, if I remember correctly. Yeah, but yes, uh, I think that's right. Month jump in the March, Discord. Usually. We'd, we'd yeah. have to squeeze two into March, but uh, yep. from now on, it'll be one a month. Hmm. And well, that's—I mean—that's the halfway halfway stage as well for the rounds, isn't it? We're doing four rounds and then a finals. That's right. Mm. Yeah. So, um, uh, and if you want to keep tabs on the the uh, the league tables, they will be updated and put onto the website in they the next be. few days as well. Absolutely. Well, mate, it was a blast, pleasure as always. Nice to uh, nice to be here. Nice to see everything that's happened, and looking forward to round three already. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, no, looking forward to it. And thanks to everybody that's been uh, uh, watching us for the last couple of hours. Appreciate it. Mm. Thanks to all the, all the oohs and ahs and uh, banter in the chat. It's been good yes. fun. And, yes. uh, it's not easy to catch up uh, with you all, but that has been seen and noted. So thank you. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Mm. And uh, you get some rest, dogs. Um, yeah. Get yep. rid of that. Don't uh, enjoy my Sunday. Yeah. Put your feet up, and yep. uh, I'll see you later for yeah, a we'll bit of farms. Mm, sounds good. All right, everyone, take care. Enjoy the rest of your weekend, and uh, we'll catch you next log and leg. Take care, folks. Bye for now. See ya. Bye.